women are not good people. Damn. Y'all don't want to know the truth no, about that. No, women want to lie to themselves. That's why they put makeup on, wings oh, on, shit. eyelashes on. Let me ask you, why do you wear a hat? Do you have a receiving hairline? Are you good? Oh, okay. You didn't get that done or nothing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm that asking That was a Hail Mary. That was a Hail Mary, baby. Ain't no time left on the call. That was a Hail Mary. I'm not happy. Like so you got to admit that was a good play to call, Schultz. Yeah. Schultz, that was a good play the to only call. Play. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. And today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Hezekiah Walker. I don't think there's anything wrong with Cheesecake Factory, bro. We're going to get to it, man. We're going to get to it. You know what that I'm saying? That hurt my heart. Because we got, we got my guy in here, man, uh, West Coast legend, hosted a No Ceilings podcast on the uh. Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Uh. He's got a new album out right now called Cancel These Nuts. Uh. True, G true. Malone. I Watch can't believe, finest. I can't believe we really finna talk about this. Why? I don't think no woman said that. There's a whole, uh... All right, fair enough. That's true. I don't well, really yeah. believe this. <laughs> what happened here? I, I, I say, it says a group of ladies make a list of places men shouldn't take them on the first. Put it this way, women have agreed with it. I don't believe that. Okay. She's agreeing right no, now. She's not. Taylor definitely agreed with it. Taylor. Me and Taylor have been arguing all I literally all morning. agree just to the chain restaurant. Let's che try. Cheesecake Factory, you know what else is a chain? On no boo. First no date, boo's a chain. On the didn't first I tell you that? Oh, Taylor, didn't I tell you that exact same thing when you were talking about these fancy restaurants? I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not you, talking about fancy restaurants. I told you no boo's a chain restaurant. Mr. Chow's, Mr. Lee Chow's. I never said that I wanted a fancy restaurant, though. All I'm saying is Can put a little thought into the first date. Let's, put, let's, let's do the context. Why? Here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to help me on my list. Let's, I don't know if this is an order, but it's 28 of them. What about, what about Room 40? Would you go to Room 40? She don't even know what that I is. Yeah, I don't. Room 40? I don't know what, that, know what that, is. that is. Room for these nuts. <laughs> 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 Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, no, Red Lobster, Buffalo a Wild buffet, IHOP, <laughs> Denny's, The Gym, Church, Starbucks, Coffee Denny's. dates, ice cream dates, family functions, movie night, somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar for just drinks, Waffle House sporting events. Where are you going on a first date then? That's just ridiculous. I mean, sporting events for a first date, we can't That'd even take great. you to. I can't yeah. take you to a Dicks game? Yeah. I can't, you won't take her to a Lakers game? That ain't yeah. fly? You know, yeah. the, the only exception in me going to Applebee's is if we went to a sporting event or something else beforehand, and then we just try and find well, If what? you like the guy, why the hell do it matter where you go? That's right. What do you mean? Because first impressions matter too. No, but you already. The you, impression you, is. And you're also you went showing out on a date me, with him, so you've been talking to him. That's the clearly. impression. So clearly, you like him enough to say, "Yeah, we can go out." Exactly. Yeah. So I'm seeing where you wouldn't take me is Applebee's. That's how you feel about me. Well, that Applebee's has to do is with a you. family chain that you gonna what go you for the rest of your what, life. It does have to do with me because you're not putting no thought into it. all these restaurants in New York, There's and no you choose in Applebee's. Nobu. There's no thought in the fancy ones. It's where just fancy. Actually, taking her to Nobu is more basic. Cause she, he think that oh she'll be so impressed by this. this That's a good nothing. ass point. I take her notable. She you know ain't what? used to no noble. That's a good ass she point. She from Philly. She like Ishka Bibbles and first of all, stop she doing, cheese. First thing, of all, stop doing you know this. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, it's not. You don't got a noble in Philly. So. <laughs> So that's why you're so excited. Well, that, that don't count. Anyway. <laughs> that's not the point. <laughs> what are we talking about? The point is, Cheesecake Factory is a fine establishment, and those avocado egg rolls don't rival any appetizer buy, they got any a single book restaurant. Menu. In the, I mean, come on. They got I the light options. I haven't been to Cheesecake in a very long time, so I, I, can't, say no, I can't say no to Cheesecake yet. But Applebee's, why Denny's, would it, why would it be no if there's a lot of pressure Chipotle, towards Applebee's. That is disrespectful. Chipotle? Listen to what G said. Listen to what G no said. No man don't. take you to Chipotle before he tries to smash. <laughs> Oh, so, so you know what I mean? First of all, why would you think that he's about to smash on the first date? Well, we always hope. It's not like we don't. Why? Think. Why do y'all think that y'all supposed to? I'm like, taking you why? to Nobu. <laughs> you ain't never been to Nobu. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ain't never been. What to difference Nobu. do it make if you like him? What do you mean? 
It does tell a difference because it shows how you how you feel about me. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, how he you treats don't you think, shows how you feel. This is this why men are better, yo. Yep. Where'd you take your guy? Where'd you take your girl on the first date? Veselka. What if he's a diner? Acting, what if he's a Ukrainian diner? Did you really? Swear to God in my life. In Married. Ukraine, in the middle of the war. Middle just, of the war. <laughs> and guess what? She was happy to be there because she was with her boo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Schultz. you flew her out, right? Mm -hmm. no, you flew her out, though, right? Yeah. I didn't fly her out. If we you met fly at somebody the out for the first date, that's the worst impression in the world. Facts. Why would you? Do you wait, know what, what that means? Wait, if you fly wait, somebody out, that's the worst thing you can do in the world. I'm asking Andrew. He's got, you know, you money out there. So I don't know if that's how you yeah. swim. I went to Veselka. I'm the entertainment. I don't need the restaurant to be the entertainment. That's the point. And I don't want it to be like quiet and like weird. I want to be able to talk to you. So I don't you think y'all have no, no. a point. You don't so have you, a point. I just did tell point. point. It's so superficial Taylor. per I guess usual. That's not first. That's not. It's so no, superficial it's per that's usual. Not. Because it's never, I want a guy to think never, outside the box. But it's never about the guy. It's always about, the about what the guy can do you for you. You are outside of the box. You are the box. He's taking me out on a date, right? No, he's he's coming to spend time with you. That's it. He's taking me out on a date, right? No, he's spending time with you. Taking me out on a date, right? Taylor, can I ask you? One question, real what? quick. If you said to a man, "I want to go to dinner at Cheesecake Factory," do you think a man would go, "Why would she take me to Cheesecake Factory the first time we went?" Yeah, out you think day? he would say no? Boo. You think we would? We going we to would, no boo. Exactly. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop, stop it right now! Stop it right now! Stop it! Right well, first now. of all, y'all niggas are basic, so y'all wouldn't care like that. Did you that, just refer to me? As yes, I did. What? Can you make it seem like y'all don't Congratulations, care? Congratulations, my guy. Congratulations. But you know what I realized? I don't know how to react. I was telling, I was telling I like the homie I proposed this. to. Women, I, I just did a whole pot on this. Innately, women are, are cool, but culturally, women are not good people. Damn. What God the fuck? Damn. I just did we a whole podcast. You're by a woman? That's not, and you're going to say that we're not good I people? I know. That, I'm grateful, but you guys culturally are raised to be not good people. Is it Eve's fault? What? Think about how you just said that. Like, because look at I how want shallow. a man to think outside the box. Instead of you just want a man to spend time with That's you. That's right. Like you just spending, no, don't no. try to slip it, no, it like no, that. No, no, don't try to. I'm no. telling you this all day. You should be prepared for this. You should be prepared, no, should be like prepared for this. No. No. Yes. Because <laughs> I've been telling y'all this for, years, for months and years. You, women, yes. most women are Sounds not good crazy. people. crazy. Because you act like I'm asking for mad money or anything else. I'm asking if you take a nice, take me out on a nice date. What about the person? The person is the date. Yes, and you choosing me for Applebee's and showing me that what type of person you are if you're settling for that. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What do you know about somebody about Applebee's? It's like you enjoy. Exactly. Disrespectful. So you think your value is in the restaurant? Huh? Your value is in the restaurant. You can't even pronounce salmon. You pronounce an L. <laughs> I can't, you I can't take you to about, yo? the salmon. I can't, I can't waste <laughs> fresh salmon. We need my value. I'm we saying if y'all if y'all just... Scottish salmon. Hey, look, look Taylor. y'all are I talking, can't have you doing that in the middle of the restaurant. And you like the guy. The point of a date is for two people to get to know yeah, each other. Yeah, and I said, oh, didn't, I listen, talk, listen, didn't I say I'll have a walk in the park? Listen. I'm cool with that. Listen, I'm saying you so no matter what. You the park. Put my life in danger. Why do y'all say that? You don't here. know a safe park. Yes, so I do. no matter. Yeah. one safe park with no in, Puerto Ricans. The, <laughs> <laughs> the one in Williamsburg. What's that park called? So you don't even know the name. McCarran. Yes, McCarran. Oh, with a Karen in it. Huh? I'm saying, what does that you keep it safe? <laughs> if you like the guy, though, Taylor, why does it matter where he take you if he's a great guy? It's real. You're if just he's a being great, ridiculous. If he's a great guy, he would know. That's not, I'm not true. There's to nothing some basic to know. Restaurant. What, what if do you we mean get basic? High? What if we get high it, you and we go to? You don't like Applebee's, Listen, so now I don't like Applebee's food completely. It's not because it's a lower or higher tier of restaurant. The food is not good. What if we get high and go to McDonald's and play in the play place? First of all, they don't make that the could play be a cool day. No That's a play place. Day. I don't think so no more. But but you wouldn't if know. If we get high, I'm well, down for everything. You get, that's what I'm, so why you can't go to Applebee's That's high? crazy. We, it cannot. That cannot be the only date. But you'll go to McDonald's That's and the play first in the first day. We where we go before that? Chinese food. That is, is it a nice crazy. Asian spot? Like, look where how far y'all done got away from just regular life. Why do you shit? want us to set, like? Okay. Why are y'all so willing to like save money? Not even save money, what's but with, okay, like... What's wrong with Starbucks and coffee dates? That's, that's fine. On that's good. I'm my, I don't mind During coffee dates. During the day. Dates. But that's, that's fine. All I'm saying is a chain restaurant to me is basic. And you're not... Of all what's the, wrong with only basic? Because, only because we're in New York. We have mad restaurants here. And you're just thinking, like, oh, I'll just take her to Applebee's. No. You know how hard not, it is? 
to what? find Applebee's in New York? <laughs> it's, it's harder not, to find Applebee's really in New not, York. I can see really if you not. like Applebee's because the food is not good, but you like, yo, and you keep using this term. All I'm saying is basic. put some thought into a date. If you I really did. like me, if you really like me, then you would not just take me to some fucking That's Applebee's. That's not true. If he's trying to impress you, he wouldn't just hey, take the Applebee's. Why what? are you worth impressing? What do you want? Why worth impressing? You think you're greater? No. So then why are you worth impressing? Because why is he not? It's not up enough? to the man to. Be, why to can't? Think why, that? But that is a good point. Why are you not trying to impress him? <clears throat> if he asked me on a date, shouldn't he be, be impressing me? But you no. ain't gonna, you ain't gonna go on that date, Raggy. You are gonna get your head done. Yeah. You get your little eyebrows lit. Yeah. No, no, he, he, he gonna shouldn't put on be trying to impress Yeah, each but other. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be grateful that he actually wanted to take me out on a date and everything else. So be too. grateful and go to Applebee's. No. Yes. No, because you need to put. I'm, to yo, I said what I said. You need to put more thought into. What if he's acting his wage? What if that's there, all he can And there's afford? plenty of restaurants where he can act his ways. Like I said, we're like in New York. Wage, we are in New truly, York. What if he stop. truly you enjoys... You we're in New York, so stop. What if he what? truly <laughs> enjoys Applebee's? Well, in fact, we in New York. What if that's his favorite expensive. restaurant? What if he owns 20 Applebee's? He's a millionaire. Yep. Like that man. Like that man. That's great. You heard all of these arguments. Yeah. I said all of these things to you. That's the ownership, that. everything. He owns 20 Applebee's. How he's a multi-millionaire. Okay, so great. He's a multi-millionaire. So check this. So check this. So look, check this. He could take me to Applebee's, right? But that shit better be decked the fuck out then. What do you mean? As it's in, it, it, better be it better be creative. It better be creative. Hold on, what you mean it's decked the fuck like, 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 I want to see flowers and everything else then. In all Applebee's? I'm saying, all I'm saying is put some creativity you in it. You want flowers in the Applebee's? You think he owns Applebee's? I'm telling yes. you he owns 20 Applebee's. Why can't he? <laughs> <laughs> what if he? But you, you want that? flowers and Applebee's? Yeah, Everybody's here. Yes, no I'm the, all I'm saying is put a thought into it. But it's gonna it. look uncomfortable. Okay. That's all okay. I'm saying. They're gonna be like, why is why is this poor girl getting all these flowers? <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> They're gonna be so confused. What if, I, what if I take you to Applebee's on a Sunday and I say I need you to meet me here at two o'clock and we get there and I tell you, damn, me and my mom used to come here every Sunday at two o'clock. Exactly. She passed why would away. Why you take me to your mom's she, house? But listen, or your because mom's place. she passed away. But now, now since since you're the most important woman in my life, I want to spend. How long have we been dating? How long have we been dating? Because how am I the most important person now? What if Applebee's got some trauma? You don't got some trauma. What about first date or just dates in general? Because overall, if I'm dating someone, yeah, we're probably going to hit up at Applebee's one of these days, but not. Now you're trying to go to Applebee's. I'm talking about a first date. Now you're trying to go to Applebee's. I hate y'all. Because y'all know what I'm trying to say. So you think Applebee's, you think, you think Max's and Ishka Bibbles is more luxurious than Applebee's? So, no, stop thinking that we just go to Ishka Bibbles and all that. What no. about a date where you First get your all, hair no done? First of all, no one goes to Max's either. That's you a tourist spot. Huh? What about a date where you get your you hair done? You're from Upper Darby. Not from That's not... <laughs> what did you say, Andrew? If you get your hair done on the date, like you get your hair done, and then I just sit across from you, and we just have a conversation. It's not a date. That's what if I'm paying for your hair? That's outside of the box. That's not a date. I'm what if I see you hair. and I say, "Yo, you need your hair done." First of all, let's go to the hairdresser. No, f that first of all, that's disrespectful. Why is that Don't tell me anyway. Hair done. What if your hair looks stupid? <laughs> your yeah, man keeping it real with yeah, you. Yeah, like, what yo, do women want? Damn, bro, we just <laughs> trying to help. I cannot stand <laughs> you I really can't stand you Look how you're struggling. They are not. Going Good through a rough people. time in your life. I want to make your hair better. While you go out, you can get your hair. I'll sit across from you. Have a conversation while you get that fucked up shit back. That's, That's right. That's right. We can't now, even do now that. I can take you someplace presentable. You know what? Yeah. I'll take you to Applebee's. Because your hair looks like a... Like a now we can go to no food. First of all, my yo. hair would never look yo, like that, so Your hair stop. says Applebee's. Yeah. Yo. That's fucking <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's funny. We can't even be good. Your mouth saying no, boo, but your hair screaming at me. Yo, I hate y'all so fucking much. We literally cannot win. It's hard to be us. This is crazy. This though. is ridiculous. Why are we? Why are Imagine we so you lazy made nowadays? A man some food. Why are you so lazy? Do you it's cook? Not, it's not. Do you cook? Glasses got a good point. Do you cook glasses? It's, listen, it's not lazy, right? Do you it cook? Yes, I okay. cook well. But listen, I'm saying intellectually, you shouldn't have to think about somebody you like and just want to hang with them. But that's but if that's the case, we could just take a walk in the park or just. Or it don't matter where we go. How about you just come down off your high horse and mm. eat it's that? It's not a high horse. It is a high horse. No, it's not. Listen, first of all, it's first, first of all, first of all, first of all, listen, it could be an intellectual. My father told me not to settle either. So if I don't want to go to Applebee's, why should I go on a first date? If you date? presented that to settle. your daddy, your daddy would tell you you bugging. Your dad would be like, "What the hell wrong with Applebee's and Chili's and Chipotle and Olive Garden?" You'll be so you wouldn't mind if your daughter went on a date. 
or that's where they're Applebee's? probably going to go. You wouldn't mind if your daughter was better, Applebee's, Applebee's or Netflix and chill? You, mm. you said what? You know, what's better, Applebee's or Netflix and chill? I could do the Netflix and chill. Taylor, Whoa. you know, Taylar, that what doesn't a, even make no sense. Don't, don't no, listen, 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 so listen, listen. you his house? Listen, because guess, guess what? I have gone to a man's house. And, and gave he up crops no, before I didn't. he even took no, you to No, I never had sex with him. On the first date? I never had sex with him. He cooked for me. We had good time talking, and I left. That That's it. Happen. That's, That's, that ain't happening, bro. Ain't nobody believes That ain't happening, bro. Did y'all have alcohol? Even, nobody believed me. No. Nobody no. believed No. Why do you not believe me? I don't believe nobody ever treated you that nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? I don't even know if that's nice. What's up with you? What did I say? <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. That's not that nice, though. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> that's not what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> that's not even that nice. <laughs> Think about what you say. But and you guys, know what? God's watching and listening. Okay? God's watching and listening, yo. But you know what? That list is just horrible. That's just It's really a horrible list. It's shouldn't even a bad be list. list. You this shouldn't is... even be thinking like that. If you like somebody, if you like somebody, Taylor, and they said they want to take you to Applebee's, that's their favorite restaurant. You should go. They might be a good guy. And can I ask you it a question? It probably would be a good can time, but I'd be annoyed that he took me. But what if he really Pull likes up. it? Aren't you taking me out on a date? Shouldn't you think about what considered of me? Taylor, can I ask you, can I ask you a question? No. Because you asked me a question. You said, how would I feel if my daughters were t get, got took to Applebee's? More importantly, are the, is the person they with a nice person? That's everything. That's all it boils down to. Y'all don't think to. at 30 years old that a man should... Who's 30. 32 years old. Don't, and... do you, don't you try to subtract. Oh, my God. Don't you try to subtract. Ever since oh Andy Oh, my God. You, you are so I got to say, in my 30s. You got to say 30. I got to say a woman in your 30s. <laughs> a, woman in, a woman in my 30s, right? Mid 30s. Mid 30s. It's not mid. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of mid 30s. Y'all is just haters. That's mid 30s. Look. <laughs> they got rounding up. I hate That's you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all all think, I'm, go I'm, for okay. bro. That, going to Applebee's is like a college date, high school date. No, no, I, no, but talk about you. A woman in her upper mid 30s. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting higher Yo, higher. Yo, stop. I'm in go, my early go, 30s. Go, go, go. I'm in my early 30s. That's not appropriate. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're just being... Well, guess what? Guess what? A... Guess what? I want to be... If you if you had that mindset, that I want to be fucking with you anyway, though. Because you had to be more thoughtful to me. G, do you remember your first you date with like your lady? You don't seem like you're that thoughtful. First date with the... Uh, she came over. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Now, come on. What's, the, no, what's the nicest thing you've done to a, for a woman? I mean, what's the nicest thing? I jumped her in, let him no, bang Crip. No. What's the nicest thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. This is a really good question. What is it? I don't. I'm not a nice person. So, so listen. Squabble, cuz. I'm not a don't nice you want person. This, cuz? Squabble. I'm a kind person. I'm not a nice person. I'm a kind person. So what's I the, really don't really do. What have I done? Kind for a woman? Yeah. Have I you mean, got girls flowers before? Sure. Jewelry? Yeah. I, not jewelry, but flowers. Yeah. I bought some jewelry. Yeah. Hell yeah. What's the most thoughtful thing? Like, if you want to impress her, what would you do? Read to her. Read what? Whatever I'm reading. If I read to you, if I put knowledge in your head, that's pretty good. It's just going. But you're just reading a chapter to her? Yeah. I could be reading a chapel or reading a, a story out the Bible, whatever I'm reading. If I read to you, if I'm putting knowledge in your head, I really fuck with you. Mm. That's the okay. greatest thing I could do. Tell like, damn, I ain't never been read to. Yes, I have. Relax. Uh, just didn't bow you it. Dad don't count. Bro. Wait, what? <laughs> first of all, hold on. What? First of all, who read? Wait, wait, wait. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Who read? Who read? Who read? Who read, who read what? to you? What did they read? What if they read an Applebee's menu seat? <laughs> what if it, it's a two for Tuesday? You could select any two entrees and get a free size. <laughs> no, no. But what, is, what did someone read to you? Because, yeah, what did someone read to you? Actually, uh, what's that I book that Sam, you like? Sam, no, no. What's that? And <laughs> what's that? Man. No, what's that book that uh, grandmother's hands or something like that? That man he, did not read Resma Minicum, my grandmother's hands. Yes, he hands, did. Why did you know how think? long that book is? Why that do you have like 300 plus no, pages long. But no, 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 that no, no, man no, no, did no, no. not read Resma Res Minicum book comes with a workshop. It comes with, it's a workbook. Wait. Like there's exercises after wait, each chapter that wait, you have to complete. what kind of, first of all, I'm not saying he read a chapter to me, but he was explaining to me, like you were saying, the book that he's reading and explaining to me, you know, the guideline to what he's reading about. That's, that's what you mean, read. No, I mean, read, actually read. read. Right. I mean, like, read. Like, like, baby. Like reading like, the story. The story time. Time to read I'd rather you, have conversation. Read your story, Taylor. You don't like listen, you I think Do you want me to read to you, Taylor? I think that I was raised, 
I was raised to Your father not would settle. never, your father would I never agree with I bet you my father that. would be if like. If he said somebody was taking you to Applebee's, he would not say you shouldn't go because he'd be it's like, Applebee's. wow, cheap date. That is not no, true. No, he wouldn't. Nah. I bet you he would. No, he I'm sure he took his, yo, I'm we sure he took your mom places that was we just. We can make a call. You make a call. Call, call him no, right wait, now. Tell Let's call Pop. Call him. But wait, I have a question. You about to get humbled right now. Wait, have a question. Your Pop's going to get real I know because my daddy, but my daddy, but look, but look, my daddy's drawling though, so if he knows he's on the podcast, he's going to say something No, just be like, say, 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 dad. Where'd you take mom on the first date? That's not fair. <laughs> Why? Because, not fair. because you're how you're basing it off of where you took your your uh, wife for a first date and everything else. This is back in the day. Like, it's not back and, in the and day. Plus, y'all knew each other since y'all was like sixteen, right? Y'all knew each other since y'all was sixteen, right? Listening to the radio earlier, she said, she said, I get the movies, right? She said, this first date conversation is crazy. If you it's both crazy. talk, if you both talk beforehand and have an interest, yeah. what's the problem? IG ruined life for everybody. And, and that's your that's problem. Not, no, it's it not. Is. No, it's not. Y'all have Before ridiculous Before IG has been to what it is, I've been had this discussion with Eddie. And he used to get on me like, that's crazy, blah, blah, blah. On a first date, like I said, and I said what I said, if you don't put no fucking thought into it, then I'm seeing what the kind of person you are. The gym is not a good are. first date? I've been to the gym on the first date. But guess what? We did stuff after. Like... All I'm saying is this can't be just that. But you said a walk in the park is fun. Yeah, a walk in the park. That's that gym is so than after the good day. That's no money. But I'm not talking That's about money, though. So why do you keep talking about money? I you never put money in it. You're saying you the creativity of That's Applebee's. Money. Why should it be a creativity outside of the conversation itself? Why should there be? Yes. Like, why do you need a creative idea of a day? Why do you need to be entertained by everything but the person you with? Because mm. I'm in entertainment. Because you're in entertainment? Yeah. You're just trying to distract from calling it. Exactly. Day. Let's call just, 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 just call your father real quick. She ain't gonna dial the real number. Yes, I am. Let me see it say daddy. <laughs> okay. that I don't crazy. know. It might be a different. <laughs> no, it might be. She might got two daddies in there. Let me see. First of all, I don't call men daddies. Let me see. Let me see. Let me sit and call ID. Dad. There you go. Put it on speaker. speaker. Oh Put it on God. speaker. Dad. Yeah. Hey, so we're recording right now, and I'm trying to make a point. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just ask no. the question. Okay, How are so, you, Mr. Okay. Hayes? How are you, Mr. <laughs> Hayes, sir? Who's that? That's Charlemagne. Hey, Mr. Hayes. How you doing, Charlemagne? <laughs> Can I ask you a question, sir? Where did you take your lovely wife on no, the first date? No, that's not the question. No, hold it's up, it hold is. Hold up, it's too Where did you take your lovely wife on a first date? On a first date? Yes, where did you take her? They were in college. To the movies. The movies. The See? movies. The movies. Okay, I never okay, argued about hold the on, movies. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Six on I never argued about the now movies. Where did you take them to eat? Now, now, the first time you guys went out to eat, where did you guys go? Oh, man. Uh, we, we from, hey, look, we, um, we went to college together. And we went to um, a restaurant in a small town that had no big time, big names. Now, would it be weird for you to go to Applebee's on a date? Today, yeah. Ha! Ha! Thank you, Father! Wait, give me the ball! Give me the ball! Give me the ball! No, 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 no. <laughs> not, not, not you and your wife going on a date to Applebee's. I'm saying, uh, like, back in the day of your first date, would it be weird that you guys went to they Applebee's? They were young. Only if it was in that small town where nothing else was. Cause we, listen, what we keep trying to tell your daughter, she keep begging these guys to take her to no, Applebee's. I'm not, yo, we, it's and we a keep trying to yet. tell her Applebee's is not the move. Yo, yes, that's a lie. <laughs> she, she, she keep begging these guys in New York, find me an Applebee's, find yo, me an Applebee's. Yes, and we like, yo, there's no boo here. There's Brooklyn Chop House. There's all kind of other good restaurants. But for some reason, she keeps saying, no, I want Applebee's. That's what I'm. That's what I'm used to. And we trying Daddy, to tell her step her game up. Him. I'm surprised, yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Hayes. Thank you, Mr. Hayes. Bye. Have a good day. Why? You need to listen to your dad, Taylor. Taylor, you should listen to your father. That's so Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, you should listen to your father more often, Taylor. I don't know. I just, I just think I think it's a lot of too much thought into a lot of other stuff. Here's my biggest thing. All jokes aside, here's my biggest thing with this list. Once again, women are thinking about everything except for how good the man is. Exactly. It's always about what a man can buy them, where they can, the man how can take How creative them. was the day? Yes. Do you, instead of just, you is like he a good human? dude? Is he a good human? Yes. It's not how to do qualities, though? No. Qualities, yeah. No. No, that man is acting his like, way. Like, if your husband buy every outfit off the mannequin, let's say your husband's not creative, but he's a really good guy. 
Doesn't mean he's a bad guy. I he never said perfect. that. Y'all literally are. No, we're saying because you're saying the date needed to be creative. He needed to put a lot of thought into it. He versus, was gonna put a lot. All I'm saying is you. There's many restaurants. You are worthy in New York. of all his thoughts. You don't think you are worthy of all. He shouldn't be thinking about nothing but you and getting some food in your stomach talking to you. exactly. So let me think of a good spot for her, for us to eat good and everything else. So you just don't like the taste of Applebee's? Yeah, like the chain, yes, the chain restaurant. I don't think you like men. Not chain restaurants. Don't say chain restaurant because you're going to start him up. But I'm saying like with uh, the basic ones of Olive Garden, what I call basic Olive Garden, Olive Garden is Applebee's, not Denny's. Y'all yeah, got to stop using the word salad basic. Bar. Mar- salad marriage, bar. All I'm just stuff, saying those aren't, that's not really. You really want a basic life. You really want the consistency of a base marriage of is basic. So but the, on a first date, my guy, just like, capture your imagination, make you think no, it's gonna be something. No, it doesn't even have to be like. All I'm saying, again, we are in New York. The best restaurant you can think of is Applebee's. Red That's not the best. Best. You are the best thing going on. It's not the restaurant. Look, I say what I say. You're not gonna convince me. Well, <laughs> I understand. Don't but tell that's why I said women are not, for the most part, good people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Stop saying, saying no. that. Class. You think that's Eve's fault? <laughs> yes, but culturally they raised to be selfish. It's a, it's a lot of conflicting things that's inside of them that woman. makes them fight. It is. I think it's generational. Because Eve, I think generation. Eve, Eve yeah. passed that selfishness down. I think it's a lot of generation. Worse. Hold on a second. Let's try to get his Eve point out. He's been trying to get out for the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I think, I think, Eve, I think <laughs> Eve passed it down. That's true. Because she, she did. She was selfish. She wanted that app. That's it. She, and, think about it. Peace for everybody. And who no. all could have been living in eternal bliss? who finds bliss? a serpent no. to talk to? Who finds a serpent to talk Listen, to? You got a husband. You just had to find somebody else God. trying to be creative. God damn. Mm. Trying to be creative. Mm. Ooh, I missed it. You're, yeah, you're, you don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear this. <laughs> you're Eve, yo. I you had to have the apple. I think Eve ate a mushroom before she ate the apple. That's, That's why po- she thought the goddamn snake was talking to her. That's definitely 100% <laughs> positive. They were absolutely doing hallucinogenic drugs. She, she had a good man there. The only man on the planet. It's the only person. Bro. Only person. And she found somebody else to talk God to. God damn. A serpent. Whoa. And the serpent like, well, you know, you should just try the fruit. It's like, well, you know what? That don't seem like a... Even though God just said don't do that. Mm. That's because they always try to be creative. All the other shit here. Well, let's get the most exotic fruit out of all the fruits. The one God said do not eat. He hiding something from you. It's only y'all two on the whole planet. What could he hide? <laughs> what could he be possibly what hiding? What could he hide? And then he, and stupid ass dude, that's the problem. Y'all meet these goofy boys mm. and they take y'all these places and y'all mm. make them try the shit. Oh, try this, babe. Bit the apple. And what y'all still doing today? Going Same to people's thing. Apple phones? N- Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you don't Dissing like Dissing Applebee's. <laughs> Trauma. Yeah, what you, the term what you, apple. Because what the original Even woman the calls word apple. <laughs> yeah, I hate Even y'all. Apple, bro. I hate y'all. That's, That's what it's named after. That's apple hilarious. bitches. That's what apple <laughs> Apple bees is apple bitches. Oh, bro. I didn't ever think of it that deep. Wow. Oh, I hate y'all. This is crazy. Let's go. What else we got in your little game, Taylor? Yeah. I mean, What's it wasn't. Meme called? of the week. It wasn't. What's that it called? By any meme necessary. But your Memes girl of... Taylor Swift spooed up again with Kelsey. Of course. I'm sick of Taylor Swift and Kelsey. It ain't even that real, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you don't think they it's moving not, too I fast? Don't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't think so? Come on, bro. Week after week. You don't think this is just, at this point, this is just good marketing. Her and Patrick Mahomes' yeah. wife got a, a handshake already? Mm-hmm. Come on, yo. Can't they enjoy a game, bro? Can't, can't, <laughs> can't we support white love, bro? Why does we the can, camera cut but... to Taylor Swift every single time a touchdown is scored? Football's boring, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, bo- it's getting boring for, for me it's boring because they keep showing Taylor Swift all the time hmm. who's this girl I don't know oh is that I have no idea who that is oh. that's uh that's what some call it's girlfriend Juju Juju Smith Schuster look at him all that bouncing no real look <laughs> <laughs> a rhythm up there the who's this lady's a well-trained That's musician. That's her kid. That's her lady's with Patrick a, and Mahomes? Yeah. This wow. lady's a well-trained musician. Ain't a lick of rhythm up there. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm over. T- I, I can't do Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, man. God That's bless them. Funny. I wish them the best. But I just, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't know why Taylor Swift is infiltrating my football every Sunday like Come this. Come on, she want that Super Bowl, man. Well, Usher got it this year. Is Taylor yeah. Swift music good? <laughs> Yeah, she's the greatest of all time. <laughs> the greatest what? She's the greatest entertainer of all time. White woman? 
No, just the greatest entertainer of all time. Oh, come on, man. Don't start this shit. <laughs> I mean, by all metrics, she's the greatest. But you can't. How do you measure the greatest entertainer? Well, you just look at all the rest and you're like, well, they suck compared to her. <laughs> Who? <laughs> is she really good, though? No, she's incredible. The live show is incredible. Is she really, really good? She's incredible. Like she Michael dances Jackson on beat, Andrew? No, Michael Jackson is the greatest entertainer of all time. Is she, is she Beyonce good? No. I've never seen Beyonce's live show, but she, from the people who she, have seen it, she not, hers she not, she not, she, don't do she not Usher good, She bro. don't do that. <clears throat> do she dance? I've never been to a Taylor Swift yeah, show. Yeah, does she dance on beat, Andrew? Yeah, she does. She does dance on beat. She danced on beat? I was very racist of you to assume. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, that's that's <laughs> even racially. Let me tell you something. I went to go see Usher Friday yeah. night in Incredible. Los Angeles. Usher is good as Beyonce. Nobody would really ever say that because no, no he's why? not as no. big, but he's really good. Usher might. He's not what? Usher is really good, but nobody say he's good as Beyonce because it just sounds blasphemous. But he's. I don't think it sounds blasphemous at all. Yeah. I think there's you seen him. Usher, Usher is, is the truth. Usher is upper echelon. Usher yeah. is a generate. Usher is a once in a lifetime generational talent. I didn't know you went to the show. I went to the show. How was? I went to the show. And? Did he try to sing for try. you? Try. <laughs> what do you mean? Try. You got it? Yeah. Yo, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Bring your girl. Oh my God. Must I remind you, don't leave your girl around me. <laughs> this guy's a terrorist. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That shit ain't funny. He's a terrorist. Somebody say that you... <laughs> I tried to hold his hand. He let it go. Yeah. Now watch. Man, he got you blushing. You should have went to the one on the Too Cool to Blog. Too Cool. He has one there? <laughs> Why she looks so over? My, you know my wife don't like no attention. She's like, man, you don't get out of here. <laughs> she fucking up the whole concert. She like, motherfucker. Yeah. This motherfucker got people staring over here. Come on with that bullshit. She said, Why? I can see her in my life. Why? And then, then he get, then he he gave her the roses. Told her he wanted her to feel appreciated. She passed him off to Dolly. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he goes, damn, you don't want my roses? He must have gave you the talk before he got here. <laughs> I ain't had to give he him no He said that in the mic? Yes. <laughs> he said all of that Usher on the microphone. Usher couldn't really get none of my bitches. He might could sleep with one, but he couldn't. It wouldn't Listen, last. Usher know what he doing. Let me tell you what Usher did after that. He left. He left from my wife. He goes, is that Doja Cat? Doja Cat over there with her dude. I believe that was her dude. He goes over there, serenades her. She gets up, she dances. Then he looks around. Is that Jessica Alba? Jessica Alba's a happily married woman. Goes over there, serenades her. Then he looks and he goes, yeah, J-Lo, I ain't going over there. I don't want no smoke with Ben Affleck. Look at Doja. <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? Look this at guy is a terrorist, Look at Doja. Man. But wait a minute, why Ben Affleck? <laughs> well, he's seen, he seen the town. <laughs> Who's that? That's yeah. Doja Cat. That's Doja Cat. All into it. Her, I think that's the shit. That's like, I don't know if that's her man next to her. I don't know who that was next to her. He but there. Usher is a terrorist. But let me tell you something. Upper echelon performer. Oh, yeah. yeah. That Usher. show right there. Yeah. Like, if, you, if you've if you never gone to see Usher in Vegas, you got to go see that residency. And I hope he bring that scripper pole to Magic uh the Super Bowl. To Magic City. Too. He got to bring the scripper pole to the Super Bowl. Uh, what is Super he doing the stripper pole? No, it's not what he does. It's what he got the women doing. Oh. Like, these women... Because if you ever been to Magic City in Atlanta, you know that those women aren't just strippers. Like, they're actually It's athletic. some real talent. Yes. Yeah. And he brings that to that stage. He got to do that at the Super Bowl. If you see it, you'd be impressed. Yeah. I've been to Magic City. Really? Yeah, I went with Duval. He was there on the nights when they was doing backflips and all kind of stuff, jumping from pole no, to pole. A real stripper is a real yeah. athletic person. Huh? Yeah. A real stripper is a really athletic person, as crazy as it sounds. That's what he got. That's what Usher got. Not like just somebody shaking their ass, but like a real stripper. I uh, actually believe, and I've, I've, I've said this before, Usher is the king of R&B for our generation. Oh, yeah. who else? R. Kelly. Chris Brown? R. Kelly. Come on now. God damn. He's the king I know the of king has got knocked off his throne, but come on, man. <laughs> nah, because you Who know why? Because R. Kelly can't do R. everything I else you can R. do. R. Kelly. R. Kelly okay, can't but, dance. But, but, that's right. Yeah, but R&B ain't always about dancing. He's yeah. not, not entertainment. But, but Usher got all those songs, Usher too. got all the slaps. He got the party song. I mean, yeah. It's just... Usher got it, bro. And if you go see Usher show, two and, and I'm not saying R. Kelly couldn't do this if he was home. Let me take that. I'm just saying because he writes when I said that. I got to think about that. 
I'm gonna think about that because that ain't as crazy. The more I think, it's no. bro. The Why amount of hits Sasha R. Kelly has. R. Kelly at first though, because he writes. Because right? R. Kelly for sure is the guy. Bro, he did a two and a half hour show, and every one is a banger. Every yeah. single song. Yeah, but R. Kelly would do that. In this Even the new ones, you think you didn't but know. R. Kelly don't be dancing like I. R. Kelly I, used to dance time, with public like, announcement. Long time I was just ago. putting R. Kelly first because well, one he's he got the best R. B. songs. Bro, R. Kelly skating. I don't even think R. Kelly has the best R. B. songs. Yeah, I should got some. I don't believe that. Bro, R. Kelly's. Greatest R. song Kelly. is the Do You Have Your Passport? Do You Have Your Shots? Which one is that? Is you haven't seen that. about flying the girls to America. Would you like oh, to go yeah. with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something Do else. Do you want to come with me <laughs> to America? <laughs> America? <laughs> Do you have your passports? Do you I have your All shots? the jokes write themselves with the Bruh. boy. No, Usher, Usher would had endless that's, that's hits. That's fair. That's fair. His I, last I two really songs were that. like. I have yeah, to really think about that. I, I'm going to have to really think about. That that's a real conversation. I, I, for that's my, fair. For, for, for my generation, it's Usher. You know what I'm saying? I'm 45. I don't know. I can't. Usher over Kels? That's easily to me. That's tough. Easily to me. But you know what? It is Usher. So what? I, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it the right amount of time. And, and, and by the way, y'all ain't mentioned nobody else. Ain't nobody else even close. No, 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 no. It's, Chris is as good a performer to me as Usher. Chris he is, just don't got all. I the think cuts. Chris is a better dancer. I don't think he's a better performer. Sure, the whole complicated singing yes. and stuff. I think he's a better dancer. I don't think he's a better performer. I think he's good well, as a could be. I feel like he does this thing on this uh, on his concert where the fans get to choose three songs. Whoever yells louder for the song he has to perform, and he's doing that off of not off a of fly because he probably practices all of them, but he don't know which one the fans are going to choose. Man, this is tough. I seen I seen Usher do a whole skate routine on. Um, yeah, I mean, that's and dope. be singing, not, yes. I mean, fall and get up. Usher's and the barely. It's not even close. Yeah. I mean, that, not as far as R&B, but I think Chris is dope as Chris a can do it, though. If he but I would love, that would have been the ultimate versus Usher and R. Kelly. That would have been a really good verse. I think Usher smokes him. You can't smoke R. Kelly. I think Usher smokes Smoked him, man. R. Kelly? I think Usher smokes him, yo. <laughs> man, you can't even go to jail for two days. Everybody forget. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Jonathan Major's accuser to be charged with assault. Good. Seven months after his arrest. Uh, the woman who accused Jonathan Majors of domestic violence will soon, soon be charged with assault seven months after the actor's March arrest, according to the Office of the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information, DCP, for the New York Police Department, who exclusively confirmed the domestic violence charge to the messenger on Monday night. The DCPI tells the messenger that Jabari is expected to voluntarily report to the NYPD's 10th precinct in the near future after their actor filed a counter complaint against her back in June. According to a law enforcement source, Jabari, who was overseas at the time, will be issued a desk appearance ticket, which police issue to require a suspect to appear in court to answer charges. Jabari, a movement coach, accused the Ant Man and Wasp Guantanamium star of domestic violence after he was arrested on March 25th. Damn. Fucked up. Thoughts? <clears throat> It's not gonna be as loud as the. It's not gonna be as loud as what he went through. We gotta yep. make it. This but, is it's impossible. But, but, it's but she's not still, a star. we don't know, right? Like it's still innocent to proven guilty on both of their. Bad. Shit, it wasn't innocent to proven guilty with Jonathan that's right. Major. But that's guilty. wrong. That's right. But but that's the culture. So I want to see the continuousness, the at least the consistency of it all. Well, mm -hmm. the reason it's going to never be equal is because she's not a star. She's not a star with mad no clicks in her bad name. movies. Yeah. There's no clicks in, you know, somebody being innocent. I would There's like no to see the apologies good. be loud too. What are you going what are you going to take from her? What is I don't even know what a movement coach is. Mm. Like what are they like what are they going to take from her? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, uh, Jonathan Majors got a script of all kind of different things. Yeah, like, how do you how do you get that stuff back? Did they ever go to trial though? Did we ever figure out they what happened? They keep pushing that? Jonathan's <laughs> stuff back. Every time he goes to court, they push it back, push it back, push it back. Don't you have the right to a speedy trial? Yeah, but that's not always the best. As a criminal, that wasn't always the best in your interest. You'd have to really have a lot of things going in your favor. As so, a criminal, what do you mean? Like when you, like as a when you when I used to get in trouble for selling shine and all that, you didn't really want to push for a speedy trial. Mm -hmm. You kind of time was always on your side. I, I think you know speedy trial is different to have to present the evidence. Like you kind of, it's a weird strategy, but people do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Where I'm from, how many times you got caught selling shine, G? About five or six. And so what is Sherm exactly? What? PCP. Oh, PCP. Like dust, you know what I mean? Like a combination of uh, preparedine, bromobenzene, cyanide. It's, it's a couple of ingredients mixed together. It makes a liquid that you put on a cigarette. They call it Sherm because it's you used to put it on a brown cigarette called a Sherman cigarette. But they call it dust out here because it's on mint leaves. Angel dust. Yes. What made you want to do that instead of like selling crack or coca? I, I started selling. When I first started hustling, I started selling crack in high school. It was kind of the the regular thing to sell, but 
PCP, nobody was over the money. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, crack, you had to wait on a supplier. You had to wait on somebody with a Spanish name. It had to come, and somebody had to give you something. PCP, you could just make it, like, if you know what you was doing, or brothers was making it. So they was in charge of the trade. So it was just a different. The profit was way better. Um, you didn't have as much competition. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody sold crack and watch at one time. Everybody. But PCP, you had to be a special kind of person. So you might spend $50 at that time and make $320 off one ounce. Really? Yeah, and you'd do it in four hours. Oh, wow. Isn't that like one of the most dangerous drugs people can be on, though? It depends on who you ask. Right now, fentanyl got everything beat. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, but... uh. I didn't really see no long-term effects, but I'm not a doctor neither, so. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, people usually get themselves together. They figure it out. Take some time. They be st- The craziest part, you would smoke, you watch somebody, you sell somebody a stick, you dip their cigarette there, smoke it. And mind you, it used to be so flammable, you had to light it with another little cigarette, and they'll just be stuck right there for like 15 minutes, like, like a mannequin. Is it a high that they want to come back to? Yeah, every time. They Damn. always want that again, but... I just seen multiple things, right? A motherfucker be just standing there and be like a mannequin and just be stuck. And that was a good shine. Or they get naked because it's too hot. Oh, that's why they used to call it butt naked, right? Yes. Yeah. What'd you do when they got naked? Oh, uh, you just kind of get away. You just <laughs> let, and mo- they normally would stand there and just kind of be running around. It used to be so crazy. One of my homeboys was smoking it and we was messing with him. And I remember we closed a wrought iron fence in the yard and told him he had life and he really thought he had life. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real story. I mean, I used to think I fucked up. I was as a person. I swear to God, he was in the yard, and it's funny because the homies gonna see this, gonna be like, "This nigga crazy." But we slammed the gate on. He was like, "Man, they gave you life, Jay." Like, oh, they gave me life. Class, put some on my books. He, was, he really thought he had life. He was holding the gate. Let me out. Pr- prison ain't for me. And he just, I was like, this is crazy. I should have put him in there with another <laughs> naked PCP person to see yeah. what happened. <laughs> you hit for life. Both and of they be super strong. Like, they be super strong. They be almost impervious to pain. It's some Damn. crazy stuff to see. It was a different time for sure. Damn. Yeah. Y'all want to pay some bills? Let's pay some bills. Pay some bills. Let's pay some bills. All right, guys, let's take a break for a second. Listen, man, everyone deserves to feel like a VIP. And with Dash Pass from DoorDash, you can. Dash Pass members get $0 delivery fees and up to 10% off eligible DoorDash orders, including groceries, drinks, personal care items, and more. If you sign up for Dash Pass today, use the code IDIOTS, you can get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more signing up for Dash Pass. Now, remember, this is subject to change, terms, and conditions do apply. Yes. Dash Pass makes delivery even more worth it, helping members save more than $35 per month on average. Plus, Dash Pass delivers way more than just tonight's dinner, including special access to experiences, promotions, and da- Dash Pass exclusive menu items, all for only $9.99 a month. Think about it, okay? You already know that you're going to be getting food, you're going to be getting groceries, you're going to be getting extra items. You might as well sign up and get the discounts on all of them, okay? You sign up for Dash Pass now, and you're going to get your first month free. Pl- uh, put a little joy back into your schedule. Sign up for Dash Pass today. Use the code IDIOTS and get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. Remember, that's subject to change and the terms and conditions do apply. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with the code IDIOTS. Subject to change, terms apply. Sign up for more. Become a Dash Pass member today. Now let's get back to the show. No, let's pay one more bill, show. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, let's pay one more bill. I mean, you really don't have to leave your house for nothing nowadays. You don't have to leave your house to eat because they got DoorDash, and you don't have to leave your house to get therapy because we got Talkspace. Do you think seeing a therapist or psychiatrist would be helpful, but you don't have the time to actually find one and meet with them or afford them? Try Talkspace. By doing everything online, Talkspace has made getting the help you want easy, accessible, and affordable. With Talkspace, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you typically within 48 hours. It's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home. There's no need to commute the appointments, miss time at work, or line up childcare in order to attend sessions. It's mental health care made easy. Talkspace lets you send messages to your therapist so you don't have to wait for your next session. Therapy can help you shift your perspectives, find tools to cope in difficult times, and be a guiding light. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com idiots to match with a licensed therapist today 
today. Go to Talkspace.com slash idiots to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash idiots. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, church announcements. Yes, thank you guys so much for coming out to the Life Tour in Europe and Abu Dhabi. That was amazing. Big tour announcement for the American leg. The first three cities have been announced. We have Chicago, Washington, D.C., and Boston, and we just added second shows in each one of those cities. TheAndrewSchultz.com. Go get those right now. In two weeks, we're out there in Australia. Man, thank you guys so much, okay? We add another show in Perth, add another show in Sydney, uh, Adelaide, Melbourne, already sold out, man, and uh, Brisbane, man. We just increased the seating. So thank you guys so much for that. TheAndrewShows.com, Australia. We'll see you soon. And some very cool announcements about more shows uh, back home coming up. Big Hezzy, uh, mine is simple. Uh, make sure you go pre-order Invisible Generals. That's the next uh, release, book release off my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing, by my man Doug Melville. It tells the amazing true story of America's first black generals, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son who helped integrate the American military and create the famous Tuskegee Airmen. It'll be out November 7th, but you can pre-order now. Uh, make sure you go on Audible and uh, check out Alicia Renee's Unleashed for Love. Check out everything we got on Audible. Finding Tamika, some of 85, um, but also uh, Alicia Renee's Unleashed for Love. That's the latest project we put out, uh, audio romantic scripted comedy, um, executive produced by myself and Kevin Hart. Go check that out. And make sure you check me out on The Daily Show next week. I'll be hosting The Daily Show from yes, sir. October 30th to November 2nd. Monday to Thursday, I'll be hosting uh, right. The All Daily right. Show. All right. Yeah, so Hold we'll up. see. You, you did a show in Abu Dhabi, dog? Yeah, yeah. But I'm proud you just of got you, back. Dog. Thank you, man. man. What do you mean? Andrew's selling out I didn't arenas around the world. Doing all right. Y'all, that... So last time we were sitting down, it's eight years ago, and y'all had first introduced me to podcast. I didn't know what the fuck it was. Man, that's yeah. crazy. We've been and doing this podcast 10 years, Think man. about that. And you are selling our show. That's cool, Arenas. Oh, it's been good. Arenas. He sold out the joint in uh, Canada twice. That's yeah, crazy. Cool. What's that, cool. Scotia? Scotia Bank Arena. That's what the Raptors play. Man, yeah. congratulations. Sold out the O2 dog. Arena. The O2... No, not the O2. Which one no, in London? Uh, Royal Albert Hall. Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, that was crazy. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah the, the, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Man, Appreciate I'm it, man. You, dog. That was fun, man. The European tour was was sick. European tour was sick, and Abu Dhabi was was sick. We got to document Pretty that. Fucking awesome, dog. Yeah, we'll have glasses. Like, we'll have some coming out. Show what you got, album, man? Cancer oh, man, cancer these, these nuts. Available on thecribstore.com. It's pretty fucking awesome. You know he has a Sets. song on there, Schultz, called Kanye Shouldn't Have Married That Bitch. So this is what's dope, right? Let me talk to you about this. <laughs> Schultz would agree with me. See, Schultz ain't going to PC all the way up. See, is PC enough. PC to God. You can't. You know you can't turn a whore into a house. Well, I don't got to explain that. <laughs> so That's not true. Cancel the, it's true. You can turn a whore into a, whore into no, a housewife. No, you can not. Whole phases. Exactly. That's, not, that's like having a crack phase. No, it's not. It is. You can so you married a crackhead. Who would marry a crackhead? So you would talk to an ex crackhead, but no, you would go to Applebee's on the first day. I'm not comparing the two. So I'm saying, so then would you marry a crackhead? No. Taylor should have never married that crackhead. There's plenty of crackheads who have turned their life completely I'm around. Saying, then why do why I do I mean, not I know crackheads. anybody who will? Here's the thing about being a whore. A whore crackheads. is just like anything else. People evolve. Yeah. So you might have been throwing that thing in high school, throwing that thing in college. You no, know what I'm saying? It's a functioning. At some point, you get in your twenties, you want to settle down. It's Catch a chlamydia a couple of times. Too. It's a functioning issue. It's it's more than that, right? It's not fair like to really do that. Phases. We're not the same. So don't start doing the man hoe thing. You think you could turn a hoe into a housewife, Schultz? Turn a hoe into a housewife? Yes. I'm a happily married man, Charlamagne. Prime Schultz. <laughs> now you tap my ego. Prime Schultz. <laughs> I don't think Like I... she walk in the room and she didn't suck me off. That's two different things. That is not. This is the problem. But today this is, is the room Kanye used to girl, walk in all the time. We never married virgin. None of us married virgins. It's different, though. but you never walked in the room with your wife and you seen her hug somebody that sucked somebody off you know. Kanye didn't walk in five rooms of five men just like that. Well, he didn't see it. He just know that that's what used to be. No, he's seen one. And then he still he see that one. nigga. And he got to shake that nigga hand. 
And that nigga who talk cares? about fucking you. Fix your we ego. mean who cares? You sound insecure right now. You won't even go to you Applebee's. You insecure right now. You won't even go to Applebee's. That's not insecure, though. That's not insecurity. That's you knowing my, that's knowing who I am. That's knowing who I am and, my, and what my value you is. Go to You're Applebee's. insecure because you a woman that you like sucks some other, she has a past history. Past history? She sucks my dick on tape. So what? And there's niggas in the same room. Wait, but again. And he's making so songs then, talk about your wife suck my dick on tape. Why can't we be insecure? Y'all can. Everyone's insecure. Like but I'm you just saying you're showing, you're showing a lot of your insecurity, though, it's, because have you're feeling a type of way if a woman had a Our oh, insecurity oh, is, is our the women that we love and marry sucking other guys' dicks, and your She's insecurity pass, is that. Well, the apple yeah. She's you think Come on, bro. You're a fucking crazy. Why do I want to hear you? Cut that shit, yo. Mark that shit. Of course, absolute <laughs> animal, bro. Yes. Everybody got a but, problem, But show, hey, dude, imagine you walk in a comic room and your old lady. Imagine, so, so you're saying if your wife, if, it's not insecurity, right? It's embarrassment. You Why be would embarrassed. you even date her if you knew she did that, though, what you, That's what I'm telling Kanye. I'm reinforcing it to him. What were you thinking? But, Nah, that's you a good point. always end up agreeing with the person you debate. No, I'm not agreeing with him. You do do that. Yes, this and you so know. You do that. You I'm talk to yourself him. like, do no, do I'm that. I'm not agreeing with him because at the end of the yeah. day, yeah. I'm saying for you, why would you date someone? I I'm wouldn't. saying for Kanye. I am telling Kanye, Kanye, you cannot turn a hoe into a housewife. But clearly, Kim got the juice because mad niggas want to date her. No, that mad true. niggas want to get their dicks up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, we do. That's the truth. That is Who fire. would not want to hear from Kim Kardashian? Fire, bro. It's Kim Kardashian. You, but got, you never got to, your dick sucked. But people stick you wouldn't to know. her. You never got your dick sucked. So though you they would don't never stick know. to her. Yes, they, they do. No, they do not. They stick her. They be wanting, what are you talking about? They date her. Full no, they don't. Her. They get head Y'all from her. Y'all buddy from her. dated her for how many months? Who? Exactly. Getting head over and over. Yo. <laughs> Bop. Y'all are so disrespectful. This is Bop. crazy. I'm not disrespecting her. It's kind of you are disrespecting her. Yes, you are because you're saying like she not How am I disrespecting her? She sucked this man penis <laughs> on tape and I saw. Her. I think you can turn a hoe into a housewife. You do not believe that. I do. Why are you not? You don't Listen, think people have Okay, okay, let's take it. A, forget, forget, forget Negroes, right? Or just people. Whoa, whoa. Forget whoa. humans. I didn't mean to whoa, say it like that. Bro. Forget humans, right? Y'all call me all sorts of M words. <laughs> you, you, you do know this, is what, this is what the nation of Islam specializes in. Yes. What's that? Reforming. To, reforming oh. people. So they'll take. Exactly. Yeah, but they, <laughs> now, now she would have went through the program. Is they, what? Is it wrong to use the word hope? What is going on? It didn't got this PC. I know you're selling out arena, but I'm saying. Is this the way you saying? Why are you saying I'm being PC? I'm laughing at you. Tell me because I didn't get the message. No, the nation of Islam takes the, I guess, what you would call the worst of us. I didn't know that's what they do. Yes. Yes, they They clean up black Oh, that's right. People that are killers, you said they reform drug dealers, yes, drug they addicts, reform hoes, whatever. Look what they did with Malcolm X. They changed his life. So you telling me that you wouldn't date a woman in the nation that you? Yes, to but Kim is not a Muslim. She did not go to the program. She is Muslim. No, man. she is she not. She's pork. from. She is. <laughs> listen, my point of the song is not to disrespect Kim. It's to inform Kanye because Kanye. I'm telling you, we've had this conversation. Kanye is like Eddie Winslow. Like, he didn't come up under the harsh conditions to understand why these things don't matter. That's why he had that crash course with her. Look at him. He complaining every week. He regrets it every day. Every day. Regrets what? Fuck messing with this lady. No, he loves her. I saw a video the other day, and he said he, he was... Of course he loved her. He now... Because she was his Marilyn Monroe. Kanye said he used to have pictures of Marilyn Monroe, a poster. That, I don't know nobody from where we from in no ghetto that had pictures of Marilyn Monroe on their wall. So obviously he wasn't listening to Dr. Dre. He didn't know... So I'm passing him the message specifically. He did not know you can't turn a whole house away. You can, though. Know. Can you give a good example of that situation? Yeah, what's the greatest success story you had to declare? I, mean, I don't know who the whores are. I mean, we, you we know, do. You we do, do know some whores, but you just didn't see know. nobody turn them around. Have they been turned? Have they been flipped? Like, if name you will? the greatest whore you know right now of all time that you would be like, you'd be comfortable saying that person's a whore. I don't know. I really don't know who's a whore. Who? He know. I can't think of anybody. That's a whole that I know. That she was like, they just knocking everybody down. Well, hold on, what do you call Nobody that y'all would know. <laughs> like, what about uh, what do you guys call Malcolm Head? What's her, what's her name? <laughs> Superhead, <laughs> Superhead. Malcolm Head? Su- Malcolm Head is fire. <laughs> Bro, Malcolm <laughs> Head is fire. Superhead. Superhead yeah. guy, she got married though. And got a divorce. Because uh, somebody tried. Try the guy from All Family Matters. Or something. Exactly. Winslow? <laughs> Kanye is Eddie Winslow. 
full circle. Goddamn. <laughs> Hold I'm on. I'm not dissing. Is I, it true you can't turn a hoe into a house? Yes, no, you can. can. She I would, think hoes probably end up making the best house. Can we think of a good one? Like, I want to no, believe this. I want to support you. Probably our moms. Yo, come well, on. No, yo. B, come on. no, B. We come don't on. know. No, take that. We don't know our parents' no. past. That was bad. All these women. Charlemagne. Yo, y'all ain't know the truth. Charlemagne, 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 your mom know the truth. is a your Jehovah's mom Witness. Not like Kim Kardashian. I'm not saying my mom, but he's <laughs> saying my mom. Mom. No, no, you said <laughs> your mom you're is an hour. No, you no. didn't even get birthday presents. She's not gifting that a, to nobody. You right? You might be right. So I have a song on here called Taylor Whitney's Plug. It's really dope. What's it, it called? Talks about what happens to the drug dealers that sell drugs. Taylor Whitney's Plug. The person that Whitney used to was buying drugs from. Okay. It's super dope. I think it's dope. Um, Taylor Whitney plug. Yeah, it's really dope. You gotta listen to it. The logo. It's some really good songs. You think it's you're really celebrating good. that though? No, I, 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 we talked about this. I don't feel like us documenting street urban culture or the lifestyle itself is celebrating or glorifying it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a. It's. I think when you're in that circumstance, right, you have to kind of have some sense of pride because yeah. you don't have nothing else until you get something else. Mm -hmm. And when you get something else, that's why people that come from where we come from, right? Be the, they be the motherfucking, as soon as they get a job at driving cement trucks, they be like, yeah, I got this good job. Yeah. They be so proud because we for so long had to hold on to nothing selling dope. Every party I know who sell a dope, for the most part, do not want to sell dope for the rest of the day. Nobody does. They are tired. My, my brother heard that song and cried. You know what I mean? Because the feeling of being trapped in the game, he remembered going through it. Mm -hmm. So again, it's one of those things where I don't I don't think hip hop documenting it. Like if I'm explaining to you what gangbang is going on and some little asshole thinks he wants to be a gangbanger, you have to show me it working on a middle class community. Show me a white neighborhood where they turn in Christian bloods and they started violence. But all of these things, the drugs that everybody using, Rappers, we they didn't start that in our community. Mm -hmm. Rappers ain't started nothing. The closest thing they started, people, is that list right there where women finna start thinking that these are not good first dates. No, listen, I agree with that. I, I think that um, whenever they try to blame hip-hop and the music for things that are going on in the world, that's a little short-sighted because you got to get to the root of it. And the root of it is the societal issues that exist. It's like the art is just reflecting that. Is that and, and and I'm down. I'm with it. If we could find one trend that a rapper started, like he came up with it, he was the first person, or him and his partners are the first person. I mean, I think more fashion stuff, like the painting of the fingernails. And I still don't know nobody. None of my homeboys. Nobody I know in Watts. Nobody I know in South Central. Nobody I know in Inglewood. No street guys I know in Atlanta are running around with their fingernails painted. I don't wait, know wait, nobody. Wait, why, why, why There's not? There's gotta be some dudes in Atlanta. Come on. Yeah, come Zero. On. Yeah. Atlanta the dudes, if they do, they actually like penis as men. Come on. <laughs> no, that's not true. Yes. Jeez. Hey, come on, you bro. You think just because a man got his fingernails painted, they like they penis? Like, the huh? only guys I've ever been to Dick? Atlanta, see that they, that's a serious commitment. That's why I don't really play with gay people, bro. That's a, what do you as mean, a man G? to take penis is a serious commitment. That's why I don't play with that. That's what do you serious. Mean? I don't you have don't no jokes about it. I don't play with it because you got to go through some shit to take penis. That's different. <laughs> you just get some lube. No, I was, no. Spit on that I respect that. I don't want no part of that. No, that's not going to work. That's serious. <laughs> so, you know, again, it's not about, you know, gay men because that's a special, like, even all this stuff. But where a lot I, of that stuff not gay, though. Just because you get your fingernails painted ain't gay. I, I agree I with you. I don't get my nails painted. But I, I agree with Anybody you. Anybody get their nails painted? It's not gay. <laughs> <Anybody>? don't, nobody <laughs> know nobody who get their nails painted. Yeah, I do. I know somebody. Do you know somebody from your community, from your hood? <laughs> See, he working here. <laughs> <laughs> do your homeboys from where you, where yeah. you from? Uh -oh, far out, quick. But far yeah, out, nah, they, give me a really, they give me a really hard time about it. They supposed yeah. to. Yeah. And you supposed to do it because you are an artist. You over here directing the sound. He's not an artist. artist. No, he is. He's an art of sound. Y'all See, y'all don't respect. I know what that's like, bro. Exactly. Much fuck with that. He got his nails, his toenails done, too. That's, no, he no, don't. Yeah, no, he don't. You do Big get commitment. your toenails done, nah, yo. Yes, he do. Oh, no, but you no, did? No, I don't. No, <laughs> Go on. no, he don't. Yeah, he do. No, he does. Do you wear and a he, person? And he only do one toe. He do the big no, toe. Right? That's, <laughs> that's which is crazy. Listen, <laughs> no, and you're, not, and you're not a homosexual man. Not that's just your thing. But everybody in hip-hop have everybody in the rest of the world thinking that we all doing this versus some art. Oh, art you think that hip-hop is stuff. a bad representation of the hood? And it used to be an exact representation. I think, it's oh. the, I think some of it is the hood now. 
Which one? Where? It got to be somewhere, no. man. No. Some of these dudes that are stone cold killers be wearing the dresses and everything else, yo. They, they do. First Suck off, dick. even all that stone cold killer shit is overstated. Them niggas is dope heads. Mm. If you killing a motherfucker off drugs, you ain't thugging. Mm. That ain't thugging. You ain't tough. You know what I mean? That uh, ain't tough. You mean you had to be in an altered state of mind? Yeah, you was a pussy anyway. That's why they go there and cry and everybody start telling. What about if you get your nails um, painted and unsober? I think that's man. what's happening. Like, I think Yachty is just on his own program. You know what I mean, Let, let's say Yachty. I think he's just on his own program, but that don't represent no ghetto in Atlanta. He's Yachty, not even he, a ghetto it person. It do represent the ghetto in no, Atlanta. No, he's not. He's a middle-class kid. Who, I don't know where Yachty from. Yeah, he's from like a middle class, I think they said place in Georgia. He's a really good kid. But I think Yachty's doing what a person his age is supposed to do. Like, we all probably looked ridiculous at 21 with our different styles that we had. Yeah, but that's not a representation of a ghetto. He's just a brother that raps, <clears throat> and we're making a representation of he's all... He's saying rappers are phony. The ghetto. No, I'm not saying... I'm saying most of them are not... They're not street urban guys. I don't think Yachty is saying he is, is he? No, not at no, all. Yachty never yeah, said Yachty's he's a, street a good, dude. good dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not, I'm not knocking Yachty. My issue is, is when people start thinking that represents the community. Like it we does, said, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it represents, it represents a, a the new LGBTQ generation. community. You, <laughs> what? Is that what Alex is representing right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, but that's not to say you are a gay man, but I'm saying <laughs> you just gay adjacent. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like if I came here with a rainbow you just bag. Body okay. dick. It's like no, that's not. Jesus. He just got his mouth open, body dick. Yeah, we so. got to think certain things. No, no, Tyler. We, Tyler, we got to think, right? Do you agree that women take things from prostitute culture? Like, and... like how certain ways they dress now. You don't think oh, they take yeah. it from? Yes. I so a lot of things come what, from what, weird cultures. What are you agreeing to right now, Taylor? We Let's do. What he just said. They do. He, like we do, though. We take like we're a lot more. Um, it's not revealing to culture just because you want to show a little skin. Of course, it it's is. a little revealing. We're a lot what more revealing. Why, this why, why is a lot more culture? revealing. That's who it created the style of that was. There's the no I don't believe that. There's no secrecy anymore. It's, what do you, it's Girls been have, that way, though. No, no not like how secrets. it is. No. I don't Victoria's. believe that. You'd be able to tell a prostitute when they walk in in a yes, skimpy shirt. I don't believe street. that prostitutes created wearing skimpy clothes, guys. Of course guys. they did. No, I don't have anything to back that up. What who did? Give me, what, who who proved that? Proved that? Who did? Also, we still haven't found a whore that's been converted. Exactly, that's true. Show me a good whore. I know some whores that have been converted. Y'all just don't know them. By the Lord or by a man? Both. By the Lord, no, I can all, all, all of that. Now, all of that got her life together and became a deacon. I get it. Then why Kanye married her? But why would he marry her right fresh off Ray J? By the way, Eve them in Vegas. Who's not fresh cold. off Ray J? This goes back to Eve again, bro. Because <laughs> Eve was walking around with a leaf. That's because she didn't know it was. She didn't know it was a leaf. What did she think it was? She didn't know. She didn't know nothing. That's the <laughs> yeah. point of not to eat the fruit. Now she bared the uh -huh. burdens of knowledge. Eve invented poison ivy. <laughs> there was nothing poisonous about that ivy until it went next to Eve's pussy. <laughs> and then it just... <laughs> I agree. I'm actually all in agreement. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm saying... It's not, I'm not oh, socially. I just feel like the representation of where it's at is not a true rep. Hip hop is very much a representation of street urban culture. I think it's generational now. Just I agree with you, but this is not a representation of that generation. They are okay. not doing that at 29 years old. That is not going on. Nah, in the 29 street is a little community. older. I think. No, Yachty got to be about 28, 29 now. No. Yeah. Yachty like 22. Yeah. No, he was. Yeah. Pull it up. Nah, Yachty Pull like 22. Up. Maybe maybe 23. I don't know. I'm maybe. I don't think they doing it at 22 either. I don't think everybody telling. Little yeah. Yachty's 26? It's been years. He's been successful for like six years. Mm. Seven years. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think it represents culture. And so I don't have no It represents their culture. And you know how you know? LGBTQ. Man, no, man. <laughs> Men wearing purses represents LB, LGB. They actually taking all of the... Even when Thug was out and Gunner was out, they were taking... They were doing fashion shows straight off of... Taking the clothes off of gay men back in... From magazines. They have... The magazines where they have this outfit on two gay men and then they have the outfit on two months later. Well, you know, the, the, the Dickie suit was considered gay at one point. I could imagine. Yeah. It was a work outfit. And that's why it was called Dickies. <laughs> yes. You really tried to pass it. <laughs> it was a hard-working man's no, outfit. No. Masculine YMCA. Work. Yeah, that's well. That was the They used to wear the Dickies suit in the YMCA the shit. And they used to take it off. 
No, for That's real. That's in the 70s. No, no. The point I'm saying is, socially, this is like my favorite record I made because it's a socially charged album. Like, it literally talks about where I think society is at and what I don't agree with. Back to that street, urban word. And I just think well, you got to let the youngins be the youngins, man. Yes, you do, but you have to make jokes about them. <laughs> you have to joke about it. Yeah, That's I mean, whole everybody gets these jokes. I'm everybody get the joke. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. I want to see... And you can't you. say that that Absolutely. the nails or the, even the dress it is not adopted from other cultures. So obviously, like, painting your nails is either adopted from, like, a female culture or I adopted from... It's either women LGBT culture LGBT or you? gay culture, yeah. right? Probably. But that, so doesn't they, mean, but that doesn't mean that there aren't things from women culture or gay culture that men don't adopt, and there are plenty of things from male culture that women do adopt. Yeah. Like, women are wearing our jeans. They're wearing our sneakers. And men are wearing women's jeans. Not anymore. Bro, that's non-binary gangbangers, bro. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> non-binary? Really? No, there's not. I'm telling you. Non-binary. There's not. There's somebody out there know, right homie. now that may not. That's they? That may not claim a gender, but they claim killer. I don't believe that. Yes. No, because a lot of it, because even as a killer, it's not just rooted in just being like this horrible human being. Like we don't, culturally, we don't celebrate like serial killers or homicidal maniacs. We celebrate soldiers, people who prevail in wars against other communities that want to take you out. So you couldn't be a non-binary killer and we'll celebrate you, and nor will we know you you're non-binary. You wouldn't know he's non-binary. Well, that's the point. If he hiding it, then what good is it? Like if he had invisible fingernail polish. I wouldn't know. I'm sure somebody did a drive-by with some clear on before. Never. <laughs> what you mean, some Never. clear on their oh, nails? Oh, girl. No. Question. No. When people get locked up now, and it, are the prisons organized by race or are they organized by gang? Race. It goes into race in prison in California. I don't know in New York, but in California. So if you get locked up, you got to, in prison, you got to bang with your ops? Some, yeah, hell yeah, you get forced into it. But but so even, then what's the point of killing the ops if y'all end up protecting each other in jail? I always say that about Ukraine and Russian people or and all these people. If you really think about it, it's kind of silly, but these are really just like wealthy level, right? All the street shit is primitive. It's all very simple fights and it's just settled, you know what I mean, really primitively. But really even the conversation of ops is overstated. Like, don't get me wrong, you'll probably talk to them and they'll be like, oh, you know, I hate these people, but ain't nobody consistently trying to kill each other. You've been in L.A., you have been around enough to know that everybody ain't shooting every day. It's just overstated. You know, it'd be simple wars that just get I can't out say that, G. I don't be where y'all be at. No, but I'm saying even where I'm at, right, it's not, I grew up there my whole life and I've partaken in it. It's not as bad as we make it. It is bad compared to, like, where you live or where you live, but it's not bad on a grand scale. It's not fucking Israel, Palestine, or it's not yeah. fucking so, Russia, Ukraine. So what makes people think it's so bad? The, the movies, the music? People, it's crazy. They like to over-sensationalize shit. They gonna take it too far. Even if you see colors, you see Crips and Blood in the movie. The whole movie is about the police. It ain't even about gangs. You get this much information about a gang member. But see, that's why I like movies like Boys in the Hood and Menace of Society, because they show you the totality of it. But even that, that's a fatherhood movie, and everybody get lost like it's about gangbanging. What's it's about a, a, a man raising his son. It's about a man raising his son, and it's and about a family who don't have, have a father. A, so it's a fatherhood yeah, 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 yeah. movie. So again, we like we don't have the godfather for gangbanging. You know, well, we don't have a the movie origin, that no. tells you how it goes, what's really going on. And that's the mistake. Hmm. So a lot of times, I think the street urban cultures, you know, hip-hop and everything involved with it get blamed for things, but... Then people been showcasing their shit the whole but time. But is that not hard though? Like to you're you're at war on the streets and then you go into prison in order to survive, you have to defend one another and like take orders from somebody that you might have been trying to kill on the outside. Does that not make you have less of a, an urge to go to war on the outside if you know and inevitably where you're going is the inside where you're gonna have to be brothers? Yeah, some people, but that's such my, a weird thing. Like, well, it, it, it's just it's tricky, right? Because some people Again, you got to also take into account how much poverty, how much drugs, how much alcohol is in play. That's the most, even in the third case, that's the most understated thing, right? Is how high people be, how drunk people be, how desperate people be. And yeah, nobody talks so about the addiction So everybody aspect. have this, this, this 
this dire need to protect their image, their reputation, because it's how they earn, it's everything they are. So you overprotect it and you stay having shit. And then you go to jail, you realize everybody broke up in this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So then that goes off the table. So even your idea of war changes what you mad about. So then most people come home and they like, you know, I fuck with these niggas till they get high. Then niggas start smoking, drinking, or go through a tragedy. And then they just go to that state of desperation. They don't have nothing else to depend on. Mm. So it's, it's again, it's, the Sixers and they trade war been going on, you know, roughly, it'd be 50 years in about four or more years. Does anybody even know how it started? Or is it also yeah. Wiley Coyote Road no, running shit? It's a real situation that happened. It's actually based off some stuff I didn't even... This is one of the things I dislike about the culture, right? Whereas, and not gangs being the culture, but the culture of L.A. street life, how inviting it is. You see other rappers and successful singers come and they're like, oh, I'm a part of the community. You know what I mean? I think it is a little too friendly. But again, because, you know, L.A. street culture is all about fellowshipping and brotherhood as much as it don't seem like it, because it's poor people, it's really all about getting people together. So... That situation happened when a kid from 60s got killed by his older brother is like a super staple there. And his little brother got got into a fight with a guy from A-Trade and they were settling a difference. And some new guy that wasn't from A-Trade or hadn't been from A-Trade too long didn't understand that this is how they settled their issues, pulled out a gun and killed him. And because they didn't really know him when it was time for the 60s to come and make amends and say, all right, who is this dude that killed his brother? Oh, we don't know him. That's a lot of the situations. So they've been warring all these years with that one situation? Started with that one situation where he... Hell yeah, think about it. We've been chasing fucking... We, when they bomb the towers, out of all these motherfucking three, four hundred million Americas, it ain't that many motherfuckers die on the grand scale of people, but we chased motherfuckers for 20 years to get one motherfucker. And then last year, we bragged about getting that one motherfucker. Mm. So again, it's the same. So who are they trying to get? Who y'all trying to get in your hood? Are it are it that so many people have gotten killed? Since yeah, then, now there's just so much like, get back. So even in that situation, when they try to go resolve it, they end up getting into a fight because they can't turn over the person that hurt the dude because they all friends. Later on, they hanging out in the neighborhood, right? And they go over there to try to figure out more of an amicable solution. But now everybody's drunk. Everybody's sad. Something happened to this boy. He died. They got to tell his mama. His brother is a staple, a factor. They dealing with it. So now you're drunk and high. So somebody come over there to try to figure out another solution. He gets shot because you're drunk and high. You, you're dealing with the loss, the trauma. Now he gets shot. Now you got a war. So now everybody gets shot. Now this person's shooting because this person got killed. Now this person's shooting because this person got killed. So it's not the first person. It's the consistent issue. So why do y'all get upset when we say fuck that street shit? That shit sounds so complicated and stressful. Because you are American. You never tell America to fuck. You didn't, when America did their news conference, when they bombed the man that was over there, over the shit that the Twin Towers 20 years ago, mm -hmm. then nobody said, hey, you know what? We need to come to the country as a, we need to sit down at the table and come up with an amicable solution so nobody else die. You don't of say that. They They're doing that now with the Israeli-Palestine one. That's what the whole ceasefire thing is. Niggas have destroyed the shit out of everybody. I'm, yes, but every people are, everybody's calling for a ceasefire. But you missing them? No, they not. Yes, it's, they are. No, it's a lot of motherfucking people from Israel, Jewish people that's like, Fuck that. Of course. They own them. That's and there's true. a lot of motherfuckers that's Palestinian wishing they could fight enough to fight the motherfuckers. But then you have people over here in America and other countries saying there needs to be a ceasefire. But we didn't say that when it was the Twin Towers. It was on. We didn't say that when it was motherfucking Pearl Harbor. It was well, on. Well, to, I he's think right about that. He's true, but I will say here in uh, at least America, there was a point where it was like, all right, y'all don't got to keep harassing Muslims. Y'all don't got to be, you know, beating 100, up Muslims. Yes. Yeah, probably yes, about I mean, three, three, three years, 200 drones later. No, 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 no. no, I, no. I feel like that the happened The knee-jerk reaction, I think, I think it started to change when we realized that the whole Iraq war was a farce and the weapons of mass destruction was yeah. bullshit. So, so again... So, so when this, it felt justified in that moment, yeah. we were getting after it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So your I, conversation of justification, right? Like, all it takes is yeah. somebody to die. Think about Pearl Harbor... I think the number, it wasn't some crazy, I think it was like 1,600 people out of millions and millions and millions of people. That shit justified us to go over there with a nuclear weapon and drop two nuclear bombs. Not the first one, because the first one would have proved the point. I don't the know if it was justified. One, you think it was people, justified, Chris? People felt it was justified at the time. Oh, no, I, people felt like it was justified. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think over time, no, we've no, looked back and said... The sentiment of the people was like, yeah, this is the get back. This is what you get for fuck Yeah, but I think yeah. over time, we've realized that was... A, that was a bit much. Don't you, we were just yeah. talking about this too, Chris, weren't we? 
I think it was too much. The argument for it was you would have lost more lives with a land invasion of Japan, right? That's that's the argument that... No, yes, the, the argument against it is that the war had already been lost. It was over. Yeah, like Germany had already surrendered. Right. Japan was going Running to surrender. Running fumes. But they was doing way too much. So why did you drop the bombs then if the war was over? Because they had to because show you, the rest you of you the war. Show that was for Russia. And this is yeah. some gangbanging shit. It literally is for you Russia. You need to... Yeah. This is some... And this is really how it go. Show force. Let me show you so y'all don't think we got it. Predator or never prey. play. Don't get it twisted. That's how it works. Same don't get it. So what's the gang banging in... I mean, what's the nuking gang banging then? I mean, I don't think we... Well, no, the different... We're not as horrible as, like, regular, general, white American people. <laughs> we're still black people. Like, we won't even throw a grenade. You know what yeah. I mean? Everybody got grenades and watch. Won't nobody throw a grenade. It's like, bro, don't do that. That's Everybody just, got grenades and watch. That's about 20 grenades. They didn't found it. was on the news and all that. People got grenades. What? And won't one person throw a grenade? Because black people, like, we're not finna go poison the pool mm. at the park. Mm. You know, Also, y'all run like, too fast. It's not the right weapon. <laughs> I'm too athletic. You know what I mean? Someone hit that shit right back at you. Like, it's Trust just me, not, ain't nobody hit no grenade back at you. Yeah, it's just You're not the right down. thing. So the point I'm saying I is... I got 10 seconds to run away from this shit? <laughs> they ain't not going to be thinking that. <laughs> no, we out. <laughs> but the point is, motherfuckers, show white people crazy. die from grenades. We just run in slow that's motion. white people dive <laughs> on it. Oh, my God. White people be like, dive on the motherfucker. But no, it's, it's, it's the same thing. I just think we got to stop looking at all these street urban conditions and, and making it like this is some unique thing. No, no, I, I don't question human beings' knee-jerk reaction and passion to support one another. My question is, what ends up happening is the punishment for that reaction is always jail, where you end up having to be friends with, protect, and take orders from the exact people that on the outside you were either trying to kill or had killed your family. If I knew that that's where I was going, it would definitely change my behavior. Like imagine like you you slid for your boy. Sure. Only to get locked up, and now you gotta be friends with the whole crew that you slid on. And it's like, what the fuck is Man, going on? Man, I don't on? even know if you can be friends. You be seeing these videos now with these bloods and crips, these young boys be fucking each other up in prison. I mean, with jail, I don't even know if it's prison yet. It's like the county. Uh, and I don't even know why they do that. Like, I saw one video they had. I don't even know what set he was on. They had him, one guy in a cell with like four or five dudes. They was torturing this dude. Mm, you saw the other yeah. video where they was trying to scrape the dude tattoo off with Jesus. a knife. Jesus. Let's say this. Here, here you go. Let's say some alien spaceships. No, we know we we all agree as aliens, right? We all agree we believe there's aliens. Let's say a spaceship came over there over Israel and just started launching bombs. They don't give a fuck. They launching them in Jerusalem. They launching them in in in, in Tel Aviv. West Banks, Tel Aviv. What's the other place over there? Gaza. Gaza. They just launched them on everybody over there. What do you think is gonna happen? If it's aliens? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. The motherfuckers gonna come together. Cause you don't have no choice, and then all that dumb shit you fighting over. I doubt it. Cause they're gonna try to figure. They're gonna try to figure out who that is first. No, <laughs> before they, they think after once, they were like, is that Russia? Once is that you, China? Is that once, some new shit from America? Enough, but once enough motherfuckers figure out what's going on, when there's a greater threat, you organize. Yeah, I understand. That's the sentiment. That. Ronald Reagan no, said that years ago no, in the no, '80s. No. I understand. That's what the whole movie Watchmen is about. I understand why it happens, right? I get that 100. percent But if we knew the aliens were gonna come, right? We wouldn't be beefing with one another. We'd be preparing for the aliens. That's the point. But my point with the gang is, you know aliens no, are coming. You don't. I, I swear to God, people don't really. You don't think you're going to end up locked up? No, they don't. I hell not to think I was going to go to jail. You never, never thought you was going to jail? No, that, if I had to, paying attention to everybody else around you. No, you don't be thinking about it like that. It, it, it'd, be uh, a greater, it'd be a greater need or something. If you don't think about getting locked up or think that that's a possibility. Oh, you know, lock up, ha when lock up happened, it shit is, this is going to sound crazy, cuz, but you be surprised. The first time, the first time or two, you be like, the fuck? Like, you'd be surprised. No, it's hard for me to believe when you see so you. many people around you get because, locked up. Because you see other people <laughs> who don't get locked up. So you gonna, you think you're going to be one of them? Everybody think they the lucky one. Yeah. Right. So again, I'm just saying it's like, it's the same thing. That makes thing sense. You're not thinking world. that you'll even be in that situation would allow you to behave that way. If you did think that you were going to end up in prison because that just was the now pathway. Now going to change everything. It but that's to. why a lot of... So you think now, even 2023, these kids don't realize jail or dead is the only If you option. still have poverty, how could you see that far? Like, that's a far... Or maybe you don't care. Scope. No, that's, a far, that's the lie. 
The lie is you don't care because you either think it's inevitable or it's impossible. Mm. It's most likely you either think you're going to die or you don't believe you're going to die. Mm. One or the other, nothing in the middle. Everybody else, when you get out of that, that circumstances, you start realizing what life is about, life worth living. So The way these kids getting locked up at such young ages with these RICO charges, it's very hard for me to believe that they don't know that eventually that's the outcome. Don't nobody who really watch, don't nobody living in the street be looking at them dudes. Them is be regular Even American with social people. media? No, why would you watch that? I used you can't to, avoid it. I, I lived and watched when other gangs got RICO charges for selling the same shit. I never thought for two seconds that that was going to be us. That's crazy. Because you're not thinking that far. No, that's a far thought. You I'm sorry, Reese is coin. Glass's cousin. That is not true. We're both from Watts. <laughs> we're both from Watts. I didn't mean to change But you guys are both family. Yeah, huh? Tyrese. No, we're not. Is he on that Sherm? No, Tyrese. <laughs> don't fucking start, man. Why both. are you even selling Tyrese? Yeah. Yeah. Sherm, Tyrese bro. Black Don't tie. fucking start, because he going to get on your ass, yo. Salute nah, to Black shout out tie. to Tyrese, man. He going to get on Tyrese's your ass. Tyrese one of the most entertaining individuals in history. Black Tyrese just got some redemption, man, because his, yeah. his woman said the only reason... His ex-wife, Samantha Lee, said people in her ear drove her to get a divorce. So he was, he's right. Uh oh This is interesting. This, oh, this kind of proved this is point. The, this is the craziest the shit in the world. The, the I've the never saw a woman take accountability. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. If I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision, no. Wow. I'm so proud oh. of her. And that's the truth. I, um... I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Um, because I think that I was... Women were like, I'm an extremely emotional person. People that know me know that about me. I'm the kind of person that like, okay, I feel so strong blah, 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 and I can ruminate. I can get so lost in my thoughts. I know a lot of women are like that. Like we're a lot... Not all of us, right? But some of us are. Just like a lot of men can be like that. But I know women specifically, the there will be moments where they'll be like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. Don't. John, I'm and so I, proud of her. I um I try my very best. I'm so proud. I never saw a woman take accountability. Mm. Oh my God. I'm Why don't they get back together? Oh, cause he, Kyrie's got a girl. Yeah, yeah Kyrie's got a girl. Cause she probably don't want to. You know, she probably don't want to be back with him. But she really regrets breaking up their family. Listening once again, listening to serpents. Exactly. Listening to serpents. Taylor, why would you let? Why would you listen? Why would you listen to Not somebody going else to about your relationship? Not going to Applebee's. Also, taking advice from your single friends about relationships Them stupid ass is people. the dumbest fucking thing in the world. I bro. think taking advice from anybody about your relationship. But I'll tell you why, because you don't know my relationship. They, you don't know the inner dynamics all of you. You're telling us what you want us to know. They want I agree with that. But misery when you say, loves company. When you say he's single, though, they've been in relationships before. But they're not. So what the fuck can they tell you, you about a successful relationship? But what? You ain't got Take no kids away the from marriage. The okay, well, on her stance, yeah. She I was married that. and they got a kid together. No one I, even knew she, they had How do they know like, how to pick a dude? How do they know how to keep a dude? How do they know how to be in a successful relationship if they got none of them? That's right. Well, they just Muggsy broke... Bogues can't teach me how to dunk. That's right. Mm. But you act like single women never been in relationships before. They've never married. been married. They okay, if we're just talking about marriage, then all right. Then I know they have picked the dude back. that they're supposed to be with, right? You said so what? they haven't picked the dude they're supposed to be with. They don't know how to. They don't know how to isolate and lock in on the person that works for them to create that successful relationship. And they don't know how to stick into it. And they don't definitely are not in a position to give someone else advice. How old is she? I don't know how old she is. She's she old enough to know she better. Be close. But yeah, I was gonna say because my dad said that, um, like especially our generation, like my generation, we do not know how to. We're very microwave. Like we like things. Fast now, yes. but we don't know how to do longevity. So exactly. Love Applebee's. Applebee's. What? <laughs> it's all go back Applebee. to the fucking Applebee's. All go back to God. No, it does not Applebee. go back to Applebee's. Go fucking no, back it doesn't. Yes, it does. Y'all go, back go back to complicate Applebee's, great things with silly stuff. Why like, do? You, why are you only selling for Applebee's? We're not. I'm not. I'm not I doing don't this with even you. like Applebee's. But the fact that you saying you will really pass on a great guy. I said I didn't say. Yes, she, you did say that. You did so, say that. That is so, so many words. A great words. guy only takes girls and just Applebee's. Like, just like Samantha, a great guy only takes girls to like Applebee's. Samantha listening to silly people. You a listening to people about Applebee's. A great guy only takes girls to Applebee's.
Applebee's? Because to me, a great, great guy, guy would think Applebee's, outside Chili's, the box. Chipotle, Stop. We're telling you what a great guy would be. A great guy would think outside the box and be That's considerate. Not true. No, they and be considerate no, they and be like, yo, let's great think guys of a good... do not. Great guys do not do that on the first date. You know what's so crazy? Why is it considered? Come on, come on. You know what? Why would you not think it's considered? You know what's even crazy about this? She making all of this noise complaining. When you ask a woman what they want to eat, they never know. Yeah. I know what so, I want to eat. What do you want to eat? Right now? Yeah. I want some pasta. Okay, if we can go out to dinner right now, we're going to go to Olive Garden. Why? Y'all are rude. You want pasta? That's some of the best pasta around. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm Red Garden. lobster, absolutely, Olive Garden? Absolutely not Olive Garden. Do you want to hang with a man or do you want to eat the food? Garden. Wait, where do you want pasta from? Um, Let it be black owned. I don't know. Let it be black on. You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't even what go to black people seven pasta. Why do I got to know the rest? <laughs> I don't know the exact restaurant, but I pasta. don't want no apple or nothing know. like that. Can you be honest yes, with do. me? You really want some black ass pasta? Do you really want that? Excuse me? <laughs> That's a good point. Yes, I do point. want some black ass pasta. I like pasta. That is a good pasta. point. Yeah, what do you mean? Why would you want black pasta? Why would you, why want, would black you want black pasta? owned pasta? All the great black food My, you could get, you gonna get black, black ass oh, the pasta? The one thing they got today. You want a racist I Italian know. guy First of all, that's no. cooking up the pasta? No, I want to. I want to spend my money with the black people. So, so yeah, black get pasta. pasta. Don't get pasta. And not on no you pasta. You got black that's Chinese what I'm food. Saying. That's where y'all rasta y'all pasta in the Caribbean. Now I will say there is a place that I saw. I, I know some black people that make pizza better than it's, it's anybody. I bet you Cuts they do. Cuts and slices in Brooklyn. I, but I don't the best want pizza them, ever had in my life. But I don't Charlamagne. want them making Listen to my me. shit. Charlamagne, God Listen bless you. Listen to me. Heart. I'm gonna tell you why. Charlamagne, Listen God bless you. Schultz, I promise you. Charlamagne, Cuts and slices in New York is the best pizza ever had in my life. They can't even eat the cheese. You been to Cuts it's worth it though. You can't That's what I'm saying. Really to your point, it it's worth that, huh? It's not really pizza. What is it? They put like a thousand different ingredients on top Shrimp of a slice. And lobster Alfredo pizza. I'm not even, That's not I, pizza. I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm surprised you chili like that. chili salmon pizza. I'm surprised you but like that. Shout out to this establishment. I'll I hope they do pizza. great. I really hope they do great. Shout out. But you, you're tell out them your again. fucking They've been around for eight years. <laughs> yeah, out your fucking mind. In Brooklyn. Right down, down the block. I know it's delicious. <laughs> and I know it's amazing. But again, but it's just an insult. It is a fucking Come insult on. to it's Italian. Who? I think it's, I think I think they blended the best of both worlds. I think they took there is no best of both worlds. It's just a pizza. See, but this is what I'm saying. When y'all make Alfredo decisions, pasta pizza. Are you? y'all really make decisions, right when y'all make decisions. This is like the white people talk about like how some white girl exactly. had the best cornrows. Exactly. Cuts and slices what doing. is what happened if in Do the Right Thing they didn't fight each other and tear they the just, neighborhood up and they came together. And they built, got it. And built a pizza place. Got it. That's what Cuts and Slices That's is. And who decides what pizza is getting made? It should be a combination of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with him. <laughs> you I already got Italian pizza. made pizza. That's all Italian. I want Italian Go made pizza. In. I want Chinese made yeah, Chinese I want food. Chinese man I want my Mexican Chinese made now, Mexican now, now, food. Now, 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 There's a spot in T-neck. Stop it. A kosher spot. <laughs> I've had Them some Jewish stop people it. can it's, cook it's up a, some Chinese food, it's, guys. I, it's a, it's that a, is my favorite. I'm telling you. It's a dude at home, all flavor, no grease. No, there's always kosher Chinese food. Really? There yeah, is. they got a relation because yeah. that's where Jews would go for Christmas because everything else would be closed. So the Chinese knew that, so they always got a. Is that true, Chris? Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, there's a place. Lucha chopsticks and T-neck. They love me in there. All my Jewish guys <laughs> be in there. The Asian people be in there too. They love when I come through. I got mad love for chopsticks. I, I'm, I'm I don't with, know who's cooking the food, but I'm giving the Jewish people the credit for chopsticks. I'm with Shaw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, the man. Food, bro. They, that kosher shit is. They got they got chicken egg rolls. Woo! <laughs> I walk in there, they be like, four chicken egg rolls. <laughs> this shop made four chicken egg rolls. You don't think I don't even feel it so the most racist shit no. ever? Black guy walks in. Years. The fried chicken thing? <laughs> <laughs> Fried chicken egg rolls. No. That might hit too. That shit is banging. It's, no, fried chicken egg rolls. I don't know if the chicken fried that shit or not, but that shit good as a motherfucker. Go to... See, I like I like the mixed up shit. Like I wouldn't say, like I would say like a soul pizza. I wouldn't just call it pizza. I had to put a little something on it's it. It's sweet chili. They got Dude, sweet fusion chili. Fusion is oxtails. fantastic. I yeah, love exactly. fusion. It's great. But but I agree. I wouldn't I wouldn't but, go to somebody know. to get just pizza. I'm not going to some fucking white lady to get soul food. Yeah, that's true. It's not happening. Even though they really got is there some white like lady that one dude on Instagram sure. that be like, "What they cooking today?" I know his food is good. Crazy. You seen a dude on Instagram? No. no. What we cooking today? No. This motherfucker cornbread. Y'all never seen this motherfucking country man. Man, this motherfucker country man be cooking listen, that shit like white, slaves. Listen, don't act like white people in the That's South can't slave. cook. When I went to West Virginia, <laughs> when I went to West Virginia, that was one of the best meals I ever ate. 
and everything that they I ate, they either cooked, no, they either killed or grew themselves. Oh, I trust fat southern white people with food. Ooh. <laughs> Bro, we had bear shoulder, squirrel dumpling, deer hash, yep. pecan pie that was made from pecans that were actually picked in the yard. Fire. Unbelievable. String beans that she actually cooked. I mean, popped and grew. Whatever the fuck I'm trying to say. What we cooking today. What? Is this something... What we cook in the day? Let's pay some this bills, white man. Is fine. Squarespace. Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, the newsletters, create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns, collect email subscribers, and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code IDIOT for 10% off your first purchase. Let's do some Blue Chew, Schultzy. This episode has also been brought to you by Blue Chew, the one, the only, uh, the hard dick delivery service right to your door. You don't even got to worry about it. Your girl deserves it. Your girl's girl deserves it. Mm. Uh, your mom deserves it. Mm. Everybody deserves it, okay? Same active ingredients as inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the chewedest one that we rock with, this one that you're going to deliver the greatest dick of your life with. And you mm. know what? You're getting your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. $5 shipping. You go to bluechew.com, use the promo code IDIOTS, and you get that first month free. Mm. So go out there, deliver. Now let's get back to the show. His name, Cooking with Cajun. That's his name. Listen. What uh, we cook today. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. What we cook today. Oh, I love well, it. Fried chicken. There's a white man. Oh, that Smelly looks incredible. Cabbage. Yeah, that looks incredible. Watch this, dude. Dirty rice. He fat? Nah, that motherfucker thin as fuck. Oh, that shit look good as hell. You out your damn mind. Look at this shit. That shit hitting. Be right over there eating with him right listen, now. Listen. And what else you got to have? Cornbread. 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 Corn
Pinkett Smith went free those cards. I think you a Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, That's for sure the new a slang. Howard, bro. Howard, bro. Uh, do some asking idiots. I want to know what y'all think Yo. about this for Britney Spears thing. What about it? She's ca calling out uh, Justin Timberlake. Yo, Britney, your book rollout is trash. Pimp. Jada Pinkett is boys. crushing all book rollouts. Yo, we what don't care about garbage. your book roll. Your book rollout is garbage, yo. We heard Met Genuine back in the day reportedly put on a black scent. I think that happens with a lot of white folks. But look, yeah. look, what, look what she says. They loved hip hop. To me, that's what separated them from the Backstreet Boys, who seemed very consciously to position themselves as a white group. In sync, hung out with black artists. This is not her voice. Sometimes I thought they tried too hard to fit in. Oh, One yeah, day, Jay and I were in New York, going to parts of that? town I'd never been to before. Walking our way was a guy with a huge, blinged-out medallion. He was flanked by two giant security guards. Jay got all excited and said so loud, oh yeah, faux shiz, faux shiz, genuine, what's up, homie? <laughs> As genuine walked away, Felicia's so getting the impression of Jay. Oh yeah, faux shiz, faux shiz, genuine. <laughs> Jay wasn't even embarrassed. He just took it and looked at her like, it's okay, funny fuck it's you. Probably true. His band in sync was what people back then called... Man, the world would be so boring if we weren't if, if it wasn't for integration, yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be, if it was segregation. Oh, yeah, for she is, for she is. What's up, homie? Yo. Integration is so funny, man. Oh, yeah. For she is, for she is. What's up, homie? What's up? First of all, Bruh. I don't believe Britney Spears. Why? Justin Timberlake got way more soul than that, way more rhythm than that. He yeah. been around enough this black people. This was back then, though. No, Justin don't talk like that, man. Oh, yeah. For she is, for she is. By the way, I ain't never seen Justin try to act black. Yeah, he's more Southern. Yeah, that's what he sees as a Southern dude. I yeah. guess because I got a bunch of Southern white homies like my man Thomas, my first white friend, salute to Thomas. Like, they just cool. Yeah. You a down South white boy, you just a cool oh, ass yeah. white boy. For, for shit, for shit. What's up, homie? Oh, yeah, for shit, for shit. That's what it sounds like at Chopsticks when Charlemagne walks in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for shit, for shit. What's, What's up, homie? homie? What you gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. <laughs> Tell it. Ask an idiot. Let's Taylor, do it. get to it, Taylor gang. Uh, Damn, Dwight Howard yeah. sucking cocks, man. That's crazy. Ain't that wrong that. for the meat. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. He's like, I ain't gay. I just want the meat. Yeah. Bro. Yo. Who talks like that? Yo, dying for the meat is a wild. <laughs> who talks like that, though? Uh -huh. I ain't gay. I just want the meat. Oh, man. <laughs> that nigga, Dwight, I got to talk to Dwight. Keep going, keep going. I respect it. Oh. You got to be a lot smooth. Like, you don't got to be gay right and there. This is a good yep. one. I knew we had something. Young go. Mamba 96 says, should men judge women for their status as women do men? G Malone. Should men judge women for their... No. No. Women are not supposed to have... What status? Like, like where she at? Work-wise, I guess. No. I would think whole too, though, right? Oh, I guess. If you got a whole status... No, I don't think that count. That's just like a stat. That's not a stat. That's a permanent marking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, so maybe he means like career-wise. Yes. Yeah. They, once we all yes. know, once somebody's a hoe, you always hoe. No, I think I, I think men should judge women for their career status. No, no. no. I, I do. Think they I, should do. I do. Permanent <laughs> marking. <laughs> if you was a hoe, you, I don't. That whole phase they try to put the phase at the end. That's like a nigga that had a snitch phase. You can't have a. <laughs> it's just not cool. Yes, you can. Yes, you know. Why are you comparing like that? I'm it's just, two different things. I know hoeing is worse. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call hoeing though? Like two two guys in a day. Like what's your <laughs> son? Yo, Taylor. what? <laughs> what? Taylor. Oh my what's god! I'm asking what's a hoe to you guys? I almost had a heart attack. Been... Yeah, you, you, why, why did you? Why? Why that? Why, why, why that scenario? That was why, quick. <laughs> why, why, that, that, that shit came out of your head quick. Like why that scenario? Really? That came out of my head. Like, <laughs> yo, that never happened to me. Relax. I didn't say it did. Yeah, but y'all was pointing it like, oh my god, y'all thought like. Why are you doing? Whoa, Taylor. Taylor, what are you doing? What are y'all doing? We're wondering why you brought up that very your dad is listening to this podcast. Okay. Oh, Two guys at one day. Have you know you had sexual intercourse? What type of <laughs> Applebee's did they take you to? <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, I hate it. I mean, that must have been. Somebody listening to this, she's like, shit, I'll take her. Hey, somebody listening to this, like, we'll take her to no booty. We will take her to no booty. God damn. Taylor. What's the answer though? Taylor, what the uh, fuck happened? Two guys uh, in one day? Relax, that's never happened. Uh, um, what is a whole face to you? Oh, I don't know. You just went too far. Jesus <laughs> Christ. What the hell? Two believe- guys in one so day? Clearly, so the older clearly. I get, I don't believe in horn. Straight up. The older what I get, about I don't believe two in guys in one day, just dicks all up in them. <laughs> <laughs> girl just fucking covered in cocks. Brittany Ray <laughs> said she had like. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's, that's your fucking Britney benchmark. Britney Renner is for sure as a hoe. Yeah. Okay, so... You think Britney Renner is a hoe? Yeah. She's sucking she's dick and flying different. She put it out. Yeah, she kind she of put it out She says she's a hoe. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, is that... I don't know anymore. Is that debatable? I don't know who she's fucking now. You cannot just get off... It don't work can. that way. I think you shouldn't be called a hoe unless you're getting paid to fuck. If you commit a felony and you get in trouble, they call you a felon. What the fuck? Why do you keep doing that? That does not match. <laughs> Checks out. That checks out. Yeah. Why doesn't it? That's called because, hoe math. Uh, <laughs> you never done hoe math before? <laughs> it's, 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 it's mathematically correct. It is. Oh. It's called hoe math. No, you said Ain't it, no though. subtraction in hoe math. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> the two in one day is crazy. Man. That shit came out of nowhere. God damn, Taylor, you gonna just jump Why would you so open with that? Wait, so time out. So clearly, Wait, being oh, a hoe is a lot less than ask, you think that's Taylor, crazy. Can I just I don't one believe question? One. one question. Do you <laughs> think two in a day is a hoe? Yes. So why did you even need to ask that? I'm trying to see what his preference is. <laughs> you just jump preference? What's this? You think pre- two in a day is a hoe? Yes. <laughs> that's what a if lie. you're a porn star? You you're a, a hoe. hoe. No, you're a porn star. <laughs> a professional a prostitute. A professional hoe. You're a porn star. You're a That's a professional hoe. prostitute. I think You're just I a star at hoeing. You're <laughs> <laughs> a star at hoeing. I get, I, you know what? I, you know what? I, I really was... I'm, I meant to tell you this. I, I'm so proud of how much you've grown since we first met, man. <laughs> I think that's important, but... So you guys just really back a little bit. I never believe I, 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 going too I, far. I, I, never, I never believe you, in calling women hoes. Yo, but, it's not about calling. I wouldn't call like Kim. If I seen Kim, I wouldn't be like, yeah, look, ho. I'm <laughs> saying, but the reference fits. That's like if you see Glass, be like, my homie. She's I, dating these guys. Yeah, I don't think Kim is a hoe. Like, yo. My homie's but a crip. look, she's dating these guys. <laughs> I don't think Kim it's is like a hoe. It's like if home. you called me, if you was like, my homie's a crip, I wouldn't feel offended. She's whole. Kim been but married classes. four times. Yeah. <laughs> she, had, she had sex on her. Bro, camera. I think you sold it. You de- you defining it. <laughs> you not marrying, nobody marrying no hoe, bro. Yes, they do. No. They, marriages don't last. So what do you call, why are you calling her a hoe, though? Because she had sex on, on video? She was sucking Ray J dick on tape and God sold it. Damn. That's okay. So, that's, okay, so wait, so that that's makes good. That's hoe. good evidence. So the average, yeah. so what's the average hoe? Take, take the celebrity away. What's the average hoe? Two yeah. dicks in one day. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Two dicks in one day might be, that's kind of really for sure. Have you ever had two dicks in a 24-hour no period? Huh? 24 24-hour period, have you had two dicks? It could be Please different don't ask nights, this question. but it's... No, I haven't. Never once. Yeah, but 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 I, I'm saying... All right, so you're probably not a hoe. Yeah, can we all equally just... It's okay if Kim hold. But what I'm just trying to but ask, But that proves like, the point. A hoe can be a housewife. If it's past tense hoeing... No, she's not a wife. Your hoe can be deleted, bro. Your no, your hoe can never be deleted. Because as soon as you walk in that room and that nigga hug her... It's like, oh, shit. You're going to be reminded. It's not just insecure. But you don't think people have past, though? Yes, but the problem is... Men every, are every, In every sense of... How many of a, guys' dicks you going to suck? So let me ask y'all a question. If we got the CRO ladies whole facts. Oh, God, Come stop on, it. Sean. And you really get to look at that past resume. And niggas gonna be a lot of single niggas. You, you ain't leaving. Yes, they is. You're you not, ain't no, leaving. You're not. You no, might leave because she lied to you. No, yet, whatever you whatever the lie is. You ain't leaving because whatever excuse you ain't leaving because so, the amount of dicks. Yes, you so is. So do y'all y'all oh, want I got women? a good one. I got a good one. Talk to me, Schultz. <clears throat> Imagine we lived in a small town. Everybody knew each other. Would you still fuck the same amount of people? that you fuck living in a transient city like New York when the people you fuck don't even know anybody else you know. Damn. Would I do the same thing? In- How big is Upper Darby? Um, It's a town. I don't know. Where you from? I'm Upper Marion. What's the name? Hold on. How many people in this town? Hold on. How many people in this town? I don't know. 2,700? No. Let's no. Google, Google, it. Google it. Google it. This let's is good. Say, this is good. This is a good one. Show. So here's here's the point. Right? We're not let, using no whole math either. We're let's gonna say, use straight up. Let's say it's a little town. Let's say it's 500 people. Everybody kind of knows each other, et cetera. 
you're going to have sex with the same amount of dudes that you would hook up with the same amount of dudes, date the same amount of dudes that you would if you live in a city of 8 million like New if York. If you have sex with five guys in a 500 town, that's what, 1% of the population? I want to... Everybody... Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Yo, she fucked 1% they know of the population. Everybody. percent of the population. God damn. And everybody knows. Holy I think, shit. I that's think, the biggest holy problem. It's the thing is... I so think, it's only a hoe if the guy knows the guy... That she no, I'm saying for. I think girls one. feel more comfortable, quote unquote, hoeing in big cities yes. because people don't know their facts. So, 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 so if you feel 000. so, if you feel more comfortable doing it when people don't know, the only reason you're doing it is because people don't know because you know if they did know, you'd be a hoe. You'd be a hoe. But think about college. No, no, wait, time out. Think about that wait, time out, y'all. That was tough. That was tough. That but think about, but think about that's good. Y'all gotta put that little gift with a man mad, doing that. Think about college. Yeah. Mad women had their whole faces in college. Stop saying phases. It is it a phase. Is. It's not a phase. Because you don't live, your family's not in your where your college is. Your cousins aren't where your college is. All your friends aren't really where your college is. You know you're gonna go there for a few years and then exactly. dip and never. You ain't never had no again. phases? Like a I wore uh, I don't know, instead of Dickies, some other brand or something. Yes, but that's that's the point. Like I wouldn't call me telling on everybody my snitch phase. I wouldn't things that shame me, I wouldn't refer to them as phases. Things that I feel ashamed of, I wouldn't refer to them as I don't as feel ashamed getting criminals off the street. That's it's not, you're not supposed to as a tax paying citizen. That's a normal thought. But what I'm saying to her is... I wasn't ashamed in high school. <laughs> yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. How, yes, much? She was. How much is it? Yes, she was. How much so, is it? So the point I'm saying... Can I turn somebody in for weed? <laughs> <laughs> he did not turn nobody in in this yeah. pile. I'm full of shit. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying, look, if you were ashamed of it, it's, you only call it a phase because you were ashamed of it. No. Necessarily. Literally, there's a movement of women trying to make everybody accept being a slut. So I never had to have a. Like so you don't think that women should? Do you think women should be be with one person? That's it. We should have no experience with no other guys or anything person. else. How many people you been with? Don't ask me exactly. bad questions. So but, you don't want to answer this question, but you have you have nerve to judge a woman off of her past. It's and you not, have it's, a whole past. First off, listen. If you got if the a nerve woman, to judge a restaurant, you know what women should do from now on, Taylor. If a guy say, so how many guys you been with? Just be like, don't worry about it. That that's shit what will I drive think a answer. man crazy. No, I think that's no, what No, but men shouldn't even be even asking that. Hey, don't worry about it. Eat a no, you, no, you know why guys don't ask that? Because you don't want to know the answer. Make it late. Yeah, exactly. y'all want to be, be lied to. We don't want, no, no, we don't, we don't want to know. know. We don't even ask. That's why I don't even I don't put nobody in. There's guys know. that, that ask. No. If you're they, 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 sucking dick, <laughs> keep it on the low. And that's the crazy part. Cause my heart can't <laughs> take it. Why does it? Why does it? So wait, 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 I have a question. I have a question. You say that women are the worst or whatever you no! say. I didn't say that. They're not so, the worst. But, women are the but, most I did not say that. But I'm saying though, you saying that. So why don't you? You're saying that off of because of their whole face? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying women are not. For the most part, good Because y'all want to be lied to. Y'all don't want to know the truth no, about us. No, women want to lie to themselves. That's why they put makeup on, weeds oh, on, shit. eyelashes on. First of all, oh, let's not shit, talk Taylor. about that. I'm just saying. Let's not talk about Taylor, that. you got to get them off you now. No, I'm not on no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Taylor. Because Taylor. you're very... What? Call in reinforcements. That's not, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. No, Don't listen to him. I have a question. I'm saying Why women. do you wear a hat? Let me ask you a question. Why do you wear a hat? Do you have a receiving hairline? Are you good? Oh, okay. You didn't get that done or nothing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking that was a a hail Mary. That was a hail Mary right there. Ain't no time left on the clock. That was a hail Mary. I'm not happy. I like it though. Hell, I like the effort. You got to do that. It's a desperation, but no. What was going on in your head? I'm not like the effort. That was a good guess. I'm not. You took off the hat. You got to admit that was a good play to call, Schultz. Yeah. Schultz, that was a good play to call. The only play. But I want to know what was going on in your head. You, you, you took the shot without really. She's like, he's a man of a certain age. Exactly. What's you going know, on with your hairline? He had his hat on. That's right. Boom, hairline. That's right. He okay. Had his hat on all okay, day. Then. Yep. yep. <laughs> you got hair plugs. Taylor, I like to play. I like to play. I think that was a good play. It didn't execute. It didn't execute, but I think it was a good play to call. That was the right play. She said, she said so it's all real. <laughs> I'm not from Philly. They're not drawing my lines. I'm not Philly. Really they relax. No, I'm saying this is how this thing came. I came. No, I'm not saying it. You know what? You know why I'm asking that? Because men are doing that. Because men are they trying act, to be. And you know what you call them? What? Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Alex, he coming at you. What's worse than that? No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about. 
about the hair, but you were talking about nails. You were talking about the nails. That's why when he do think, he do so think you a bitch ass nigga. That's crazy. Al, just by the logic, he do think you no. a bitch ass. No, that's Al, not true. Women the don't think that. Emergency break on his own lap. Yeah. It's just like, whoa, like, <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Hold, Hold on, no. That's crazy. That's this is the point I'm making. This is the point I'm making to you, Taylor. This what this is the point I'm making to you. I'm Bro. saying women want to be lied to. I think people want to be lied to. I don't want to be lied to. Me That's neither. why I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answer to. So why are you... So how would you even know if a girl had a whole page in there? I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. Taylor, there's no time I wouldn't know, because you know why? Boy, I'm not going to be like, did you Taylor, have a whole there's page? There's no time left on the clock. Taylor, <laughs> ask another <laughs> idiot question, no flag, question, There was yo. no flag thrown. Taylor, ask <laughs> yeah. a fucking idiot question over. right we now. We're in the locker yo. room, okay? Jamal but yes, 91. no, women should not be judged by their status. Because you, we are different. We have different requirements of existence. If women were judged by their status, oh, we wouldn't be... Y'all wouldn't have nobody to date. Because all these rich men y'all want, why would they want... Yeah. Women, women that ain't on their financial right, level. Exactly. Mm. Women are rich too. No, they're not. I mean, okay, <laughs> fine. Don't worry, don't worry about the pay gap. I'm just that was a joke. Don't worry about the wage gap between men and women. Exactly. It's okay. It's a huge wage uh, gap. Jamal91 says it's 31 years of age, too late to start making changes in life, meaning perfect career time. path. Oh, perfect time. Know, bro. Perfect. This yeah. is when you really finna start yeah, trying absolutely. to figure it out. Get after absolutely. It. Absolutely. Mm. 31, I was fired. Living at home with my mom in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. I think I started the Breakfast Club when I was 31 years King. King. of age. I mean, I, I didn't change career paths, but I had, I did already adjust to saying, hey, I'm going to be living in South Carolina for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I already wow. did New York with Wendy, yep. did Philly. Things didn't work out, I guess, so I'll be down here doing my thing. But, but you uh, never went to the meal. What's the meal? <laughs> you know, every small test, a meal. Oh, no, no. <laughs> like working oh, the meat. like in no, the factory? No, 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 no. no, I collected unemployment like, for I'm a on. year. And then boom, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, 31 is perfect timing, bro. Like, you you just finna start figuring it out. I absolutely agree. You just finna start figuring it out. Let's uh, get one more. Uh, let's do one more. Oh, now, this is a, a good, good one. one. Man, God damn. That's a damn. good one, yo. <laughs> That's Damn. a fucking great one. <laughs> Def Jeff 562 says, what feels better, taking a shit are coming. Taking the shit. Without a doubt. Wow. Really? Taking oh, the shit yeah. is the greatest joy Why of a man's day. Why isn't it coming? Say again? Why is it not coming? It's shorter. I mean, taking the shit is just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. Solid. That's why most men be in the bathroom so long just <laughs> allowing <laughs> it to <clears throat> happen to them. Oh, yeah. It's just fantastic. <laughs> it, bro, this ain't an easy question, yo. Yes, it is. It is. It's very you easy. You already you you probably never taking a shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's why. <laughs> taking shit. Taking shit is oh my Andrew, god. Andrew, how you be talking about in Europe? How you be have to like have the use my pills and shit? Yeah. Well, it's because I'm so backed up. I can't. When I have diarrhea and it's really painful, it's very hard. But I and, it's, and it's super relieving when you finally probably do you. Oh. Uh, what about you, Taylor? What feels better, taking a shit or coming? Coming. Chris, what about you? Taking a shit or coming? Alex? Taking a shit. So it looks like all the black guys like taking shits. <laughs> I think I like coming, yo. He didn't coming, say it yet. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't say it. <laughs> taking a shit is much. I think I like coming. If I could go, if I could go without one, I'd get rid of it. Because coming. doesn't it feel nah. good in the movement to sex? So then when you come, it's like, oh, and how y'all be acting? <laughs> Wait, what? That shit is like, oh, you mean oh, how y'all oh, be acting? Oh, you ain't never oh, fucked no, no, nobody no. in here. No, no, no. Don't be generalizing no, all no. men like that. That was how awesome. y'all be acting? Midway through, she lost confidence in what she <laughs> was saying, what saying? And then just Got projected that shit like, immediately like, like, on her. Like, you gotta watch doesn't your it, words. Doesn't it feel good with y'all with the motion? Yeah, you That's said how y'all act like it. You like it so much. You said it like you said it like you done fucked the whole room, yeah. Taylor. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You gotta be careful oh, about yo. your so, words, yo. Like you chill saw two out. faces in one day. Chill you, know? out. <laughs> you need to chill out. Like, like you chill. saw two faces in your one day. Your dad is listening chill. to this podcast, Taylor. This is crazy. It's like you saw two of those faces in one day. <laughs> you gotta chill out, yo. You gotta chill out, yo. This didn't happen. You gotta chill out. No, but y'all don't have y'all have sex faces probably when y'all come. you ask that specific ass question? Y'all ask y'all wives. Taking the shit is way better. But why would you ask such a specific question? Hey, does this make you a hoe if, if one time a guy uh, licks your butt <laughs> while another guy is also doing it? Like, it was too specific. Damn. Yes. What? Two dicks in one day is your you were, You did bring up a specific act. That's why we reacted so crazy to that it. That might be the name of the podcast, Two Dicks One Day. <laughs> That's a good That's podcast. Never I don't happened, think we can monetize though. that one. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, we're done, guys. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs>
<laughs> two <laughs> dicks, <laughs> two dicks Jeff, in go, one day. Go get canceled these nuts. Please yes, do sir. that. Thecripstore.com, where all the streets shop and purchase products. Thecripstore.com. That's right. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.